of games, especially since it's less common to have demos and what now. I feel it's not. Hello. Howdy, everyone. How art thou? We are just giving everyone a minute to come on in while the pre-roll ad runs, the, the pre-stream ad runs, I guess, whatever you want to call it. Oh man, I am happy that my PS2 still works. <laughs> I, uh, as, as we've mentioned on stream before, I've mentioned on stream before, uh, we have a couple of those little, uh, knockoff Roombas, right? Not the, not the official Roombas, because those are a little bit too expensive for, for us. Um... But we have a couple knockoff Roombas, right? They work the same way, they do the same thing, whatever. Point is, I had it turned on right before I left to take uh, Mr. Noodle to work and, and to hang out with my brother for a little bit. And uh, I come back home and my controller, PS2 controller, is literally on the other side of the room. And I'm like, what the fuck happened? Like, why is my controller literally on the other side of the room, right? So I, I look at the controller and I, I follow it all the way back the cord and it's like still plugged in like the light was still on so I knew it was plugged in and everything and I was like all right so it's probably fine then I follow it all the way back to the console and the console was hanging off of my entertainment center <laughs> and uh <laughs> like just hanging by the power cord and the video cord off the entertainment center that I have all my consoles on and I was like what the fuck dude so whenever I ran the vacuum the robot vacuum this morning or this afternoon right before I left it must have grabbed onto the cord or something and then just like pulled the entire console off the fucking shelf but uh thankfully no damage was done as far as i can tell it was uh just dangling a little bit <laughs> but the game that was in it still looks okay and then uh the the controller's fine like it's working so we should be we should be okay everything should be fine hopefully i think we're i think we're all right but yeah that was fucking wild i couldn't believe that when I when I saw it like on the ground. Yeah, bad Roomba. Marley. Its name's Marley. Bad Marley. Marley fucking sucks. Literally, you get it? Because, you know, they're a vacuum. <laughs> but anyways. So yeah, no, that's that's alright though. It's it's all good. Like I said, everything's everything's working, so no point being mad. Uh okay, so we found out last time that we need money to be able to do these sorts of things, but not just any money. We specifically need, like, I forget the names of the coins, but very specific coins that we have to have. So we can't really do anything with the the food stuff right now. So I don't see the point in really messing with that. But what do we have in our bag? We've got a lot of Naples, which uh, are good for some experience. We've got some cooking ingredients, shit that we kept literally for cooking. And then, like, more healing tonic than a man knows what to do with. Uh, I guess we can put this. This is kind of like cooking ingredient, I think, more or less. So we got some antidote, some cooler, some regen, blank material, level eight material, healing tonic, killer cloud, and fire spirits. Okay. So we got we got all kinds of shit. Is what I'm is what I'm seeing here. All right, but we should be good. Might as well uh, continue the story. I don't know. I don't know what else we're gonna do right now. Uh, considering that we don't have any of, like, that specific money that we need or whatever. So... <laughs> uh. Alright, uh, I do remember that we talked to these people, if I remember correctly. I'm pretty sure we talked to all of them. Oswald is safe. What a relief. Oh, as far as that controller from last night, though, whenever Noodle and I were trying to play together, I have no idea what's wrong with the man. I tore it apart. I reflowed like all of the solder in it. If I like use a little piece of metal to manually touch buttons like on the on the board from the contact points, it works. Um, but if I hit buttons, it it doesn't work. And the ribbon cable that the buttons actually attach to looks fine, as far as I can tell. I can't see anything wrong with it, so I I don't know, man. I have I have absolutely no idea why. Titania Capital? Is that where I'm at right now? The Titania Capital? Because I see that one's... Like, it doesn't have the flag. Oh, wait. That one's coming up as a destination, too. That's weird. Like, they don't have the flags, but when you look up top... See, it says destination. Destination. 
destination, but I can't go to those ones. That just mean I haven't been to them yet? Is that why? Oh yeah, these ones too. So I guess those are just places I've never been to. And they just say destination until you go there for the first time? I guess? I, I don't know what else to think, so... <laughs> it's the only thing I can think of. I just figured they said, like, a destination whenever, you know, it was time to go there, specifically. Hey, Nate, thank you for coming out, man. Gwendolyn is gonna feel horrible. You're eating your sandwich? What kind of sandwich, Nate? Alja? I'm guessing that's the, the deaf people or something? <laughs> Hopefully this uh, cutscene lasts a little while. What time is it? 1721, okay. So until 1726. We gotta we gotta play with an upside down controller. Cutscene doesn't count? You picked it right now. You started it now, it starts now. <laughs> Look, if the cutscene lasts a super long time, then yeah, we'll uh we'll not count it. If it so I know the cutscenes can be a little bit long. Yes, you dumbass. I was worried about you. This one is a little long. Suffered a crushing defeat from the Vanner, Vanier. Seized the area around the cauldron. Dun, dun, dun. It's called the Big Breakfast Sandwich. It has ham, sausage, bacon, egg, cheese, and, has, and it's five bucks. So honestly, not the worst we could. Where is it from? Is it from that uh, place that you sent in Discord? Castle gonna get fucked. <laughs> Wendelin, you bitch. King Odin literally like gave me away. Why should I do shit for him? Bro, we are outcasts. I vote we just stay out. Just let them fucking deal with it. They want to be assholes? Fine. Fuck them. <laughs> it's a get-go kitchen. Literally a get-go gas station with a kitchen like sheets. That's pretty cool. Makes you wonder why there aren't more of them set up like that. We still got two minutes of having the controller upside down. It's fine. <laughs> Feels, man. Valkyrie, Chapter 6, Act 3. Ringford Forest. Okay, so that means if the controller's upside down, then left is going to be right, and right's going to be left. And then, of course, I have to use my right hand to move and my left hand to press the buttons. So, the other option would be to, like, hold it like some sort of fucking cross-handed freak here. Just, like, like, have my two hands crossing each other and hold it like this. 
I mean, I know you guys can't see, but I'm holding it with like my hands crossed right now. So at least the right hand is on the right thing. And then I just gotta play from like muscle memory. What time is it anyway? It's 25, okay, it's, it's 25 after. Okay, so that's jump. This is, nope, that's that ability. What's the attack button? I forget what the attack button is. <laughs> that's, that's magic, sure. You know what, magic these fools. Square, right? That's, no, that's circle. Oh, I didn't mean to eat a muggle right now, but that's fine, okay. Square's attack, all right. Yup, yup, this is gonna go well. I'm sure this is, this is, this is fine. I just need to practice. Oh, I think I'm accidentally hitting the L buttons because I have the controller like resting on my on my stomach basically Or like my my leg. I guess it's more like my leg. How do we how do we draw shit again? Uh, I, I normally use like muscle memory for everything It's R1 is this R1? No, this is R1. Okay, there we go. I almost wonder if it would be easier to play normally. Or like not, well, yeah, obviously it'd be easier to play normally. No, I mean like uh, to hold it like this without my hands crossed. Would this be easier? I mean, it's definitely easier to hold the controller this way. Uh, circle. You took a walk in the park twice today? That's dope, dude. I love taking walks. I might go on one next Wednesday, like this coming Wednesday, if you're not doing anything. I was talking to my brother. If he's available, he's probably gonna go. And then if uh, Noodle's available, he's probably, she's probably gonna go. Um, so yeah, if you're available and you wanna come along or whatever, assuming we end up going, you're welcome, of course. Ripens with 30 Fozons? Holy shit, dude. And used for cooking. Maple seed, grape seed. I mean, we'll pick up whatever we can carry. And then, okay, so wait, it's up and X. There we go. <laughs> we got this. What park you think? And we'll talk more offline or uh, like on Discord or something about it. Okay, I had, to, I had to figure out which button was the attack button real quick. Oh, hi there. Uh, if you don't mind dying, that'd be cool. Oh, hi fairy girls. I haven't seen you in a while. It's like the beginning of the game. You, uh, you're looking fine as ever, of course. Uh, nope, I'm not trying to press down. I'm trying to throw up. There we go. Not like throw up, that's kind of gross. I'm like trying to throw my sword up in the air. Also, I need some health. Thank goodness for the 16 million health potions that I made. Alright, uh, what level are we gonna get? It's gonna be like a C or something, man. A B? Really? A B? Hell yeah, dude. Considering I'm playing with the controller upside down, I will totally take, take a B. There we go. Get that lock off there. Is this our map? No, praline chocolate. Dope. Uh, enjoy the rich aroma of fine chocolate. Pure cacao, uh, seed. Really? So that seed for uh, for herbs that we just got. Where's the fucking, how do we get out of the menu? There we go. <laughs> so that seed we just got for cooking, we can use for, or for herbs, can also be used to make chocolate. Oh, fucking A, dude, okay. Yeah, that one, okay. So we're probably gonna keep that and then try to find some 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 nummy chocolate thingies to go with it. Also, we need some health and we might as well eat some of the shit that we got. Um, oh, that's right. We don't we don't use shit from here. We have to uh, how do we close the menu? Circle? Square. Uh, that's probably backwards. <laughs> Look, it felt like circle and square to me. Technically, it's a spear. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Nope. This one. Alright, you. Uh, is it X to eat? Okay. Dope. Uh, now we just gotta do that like 20 more times. Nope, not that one. This one. We we good. We got this. These heal more, don't they? Yeah, but not by much. So Naples are just like twice as good as Muggles all around. Um, but they also give more experience points, I see. Shit, dude. Every fucking time. Okay, it's this one. There we go. You know, eventually, if you guys make me do this enough, I'm just going to become a professional playing the game like this. 
And then I'll just start playing all games with an upside down controller. You've heard of inverted controls? Yeah, try inverted controllers. Huh? Huh? <laughs> oh, that's right. You can eat these ones three times too. Dope. There's a level up. If I eat one more piece, we still get the experience from it. Fuck, that's a waste of cypher. Or fozons or whatever the fuck it's called. Uh, no, I'm trying to... So if we eat one more time, then we can just fucking throw that and pick up the material. Not that we really need the material, but, like, why not pick it up, you know? Okay. Uh, map me, please. And then... Okay, we're blind. We don't have a map yet. That's right. So I guess we'll just go a direction and hope for the best. Uh, nope. Got a up, up X. I'll do, since we spent so much time in the menu and that's kind of boring, I'll do one more fight with the upside down controls. And then we're, uh, then we're going back to normal. Oh, fuck. This is a boss too. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll try to fight this boss. And if we die, then like, we're just going to call it there. Enemy reinforcements have arrived. We haven't even started the fight yet. What do you mean the reinforcements have arrived? Oh, get fucked, dude. You weird metal horse. Uh, look, can can reinforcements die, please? There's too many of them. Ow. <laughs> oh, dude, we, we totally got this guy. Yes. Yes. Die, you bastard. All right, we're almost out of pal though. And more reinforcements have arrived. That's not good. It's fine. It's fine. Get him in the back. Other way. Other way. Fucking go, dude. Hell yeah. Oh shit, we're out of power though. Uh, don't die. Don't don't die. Pl please don't die. <laughs> After doing all that, if we fucking died there, holy fuck. I mean, I guess we still could. No, wrong fucking way. Attack this way, dude. Oh my god, there's so many Fozons that we're not picking up, or whatever the fuck they're called. I think they're dead. I think they're dead. Okay. Start collecting the Fozons before they all disappear. <laughs> Cypher. No, they are- they're Fozons, right? The stuff we pick up are Fozons, and then our magic power is, is Cypher. Something like that. Close enough. I don't know. Hey, and we got a B, dude. Too easy. I mean, sure, we lost almost all of our health, but <laughs> it's fine. All right, I'm turning the controller back around now. <laughs> Thank goodness. Right, did we get anything that we actually want? We might as well dump a bunch of seeds in one of these bottles that we have. Um, I mean, the Naples are really good. Grapes are pretty good too, but I think Naples are better, so. Material. And then just keep dumping. We probably should get the level eight one that we have or whatever. Uh, Naple Grape. Get rid of the grape, I suppose. Fozon's power magic and level up your cypher. Yeah, see, I got it. I know what, what I'm talking about. This ain't my first rodeo. Um, where's the level 8 one? What happens if we mix level 8 with a level 2? It doubles it to 16? So wait, if I keep powering it up then, does it, like, triple it, quadruple it, etc.? Because if that's the case, we'll just keep fucking boosting it, dude. I don't... We get so many seeds anymore, I don't really think we need to worry about the muggles at this point. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna dump the muggles in here. Might as well pick up the other seeds now. Am I full? No. Okay, good. Hopefully I can still pick that up. I can. Thank goodness. Uh, level 4. Mr. Mr. Level 4. Thank you. Naple, Nape, or Muggle. Mix it with a Muggle. And then again with the Mulberry. Mulberry shortcake. Mulberry shortcake. How many more seeds do we have? Is it like a lot? We got a Muggle seed, a Naple, and a Mulberry. I'll go ahead and mix it with all those. I'll just keep the Naple seed that I have. I really wish we could do crafting from that menu. That's like the one thing. I know I say this all the time, but that's like the one thing if I could change about this game, dude, it'd be the fucking menu system. Hands down, like, it's not even a question. 
That's the only real complaint I have, which I guess is a good thing, you know? If the only thing I really have to complain about is that the menus kind of suck, like, <laughs> it's, it could definitely be a lot worse. It does, dude. Eight times eight, all the way up to 64. All right, fuck it. Yeah, mix those. Hell yeah, let's go. All right, uh, and then we need health. We could just take a health potion, but we might as well. We have all these naples. We might as well eat some of them. Because we'll get experience, too. Although, if we had the shit that let us get extra experience from it, that would be even better. But, oh, well. I think we might be able to get a le another level up if we eat all the naples. Or at least close to it. I don't know, man. It's going to be close, but I think we, I think we can make it. Yeah, dude, it's 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 gonna happen. Come on, so fucking close, dude. 24? Yeah, just fucking enough. Hell yeah. Okay, there's a lot of different directions we can go, and we still haven't got a map. Um, so that's kind of concerning. I guess we'll go. Uh maybe we'll try going the other direction. Like go back to here and then go uh And then go to the east instead of to the northeast. Maybe that'll do it for us. The music here very here is very uh, cutesy all of a sudden. I'm pretty sure it wasn't like that a moment ago when people were trying to murder us. It's whimsical, I guess. But it's more whimsical than cutesy. Got a nice <laughs> fuck jaunt to it, you know what I mean? Oh, this is the shop. Okay. Well, I mean, that's fine. We'll see uh, See what you got to sell. Wait, what's the exit? Transport to the Puka Village? Wait, can we come back here from the Puka Village, or do we have to start the whole area over again? How does that work? I'm so confused. I don't, I don't know what this exit is. I've never seen one of these. Yes, you can, but it does reset progress on fights. I mean, really, we only did, like, one fight, so that's not that big of a deal. Is it worth going to the Puka Village? I mean, I'm assuming there's there's stuff that we can do there or something, right? Is there anything else we want to sell? Not really. I mean, we could sell one or two of these base materials. If you have money and ingredients, yes. Okay. I think we have one coin. We don't have much in the way of ingredients, though. And we have some. Fuck it, we'll do it. We only we only did like two areas in one boss. It's not like we really did all that much. You got anything to sell? Oh, you sell those seeds. That's cool. I do want to get a large bag because a large bag holds eight and I think mine only hold, what, like five or six or something like that? Increases max attack power or increases attack power by 20. Ours only does 10. Maybe that'd be even better to do. The ancient crystals are nice. I'm just, I'm always running out of room, though, so I feel like that's what we should get. Uh, open the menu. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, mine only hold five, and those hold eight. Fuck it, I'm buying a bag. Give it to me, BB. Oh, shit, I gotta remember, though, not to spend that one coin. Hopefully, we have enough without spending that coin. No, because it's 75, isn't it? Um... So we can spend Titania money. That's fine. I think I think we can accept we can spend these ones too, if I remember correctly. But it's these ones, the Valentinian ones, are the ones we can't. So we don't actually have enough money right now. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Instead, we'll get the Mars Bangle and sell the one that we have. We we'll use all of that. And then that. That should be good. And then that still leaves two Valentinian gold. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. So we should be able to do a little bit of cooking. Uh, so equip that. I think we can do that from here. Oh, maybe not. Can we not equip from here? I guess not. Okay, that's fine. We'll open up this menu then. Whatever. Mars Bangle. Do it. And then sell you the other one probably for like one or two gold. I doubt it's going to be much. Uh, not the Mars. We just bought the Mars. This one. 
Yes, sell for, oh, five gold, okay. That wasn't too bad. And then exit. Let's fucking dip, dude. Get the hell out of here. The Puka Village. It's a whole new area we've never been to before then. Oh, no, wait. Oh, it's just this place? Ah, oh, dude. Okay, when <laughs> when it said Puka Village, I thought it was like an area unique to them or something. Well, that's kind of upsetting. Uh, <laughs> shit. I wouldn't have teleported back here if I had known that it was literally the same place that we come to from the castle. That's my bad. I'm an idiot. That's on me. That's all right. Uh, we have that Valentinian gold, so maybe we can actually make some shit then or whatever. Fuck it. It's weird that they would have a entrance to the Puka Village from some random place in the forest, though. <laughs> it's just like... I thought it was going to be like a little village of Puka, not like a, a city here, you know, the one that we go to from the castle. I was expecting like little little huts or small homes or something and, and shit like that. Uh, I would like to buy... Okay, we don't have the right stuff for that one. Or that one. That's takeout one, though. 1,200 experience. Holy fuck. Ooh, omelet? We have... Oh, we don't have the that sort of coin. We only have the gold one. Okay, so we can't do shit here. Maybe we can do something over at the other one, though. Does any of this stuff cost the gold coin? Maybe we could buy the ingredients? I guess I haven't unlocked those recipes yet, so no. Shit. Well, that's fucking useless. Okay. <laughs> Leave the restaurant. Let's check the other one. We'll check the, the, the bakery pastry place. See if maybe they'll take my actual gold gold. Val Valentinian gold. I'm pretty sure that's the puka shit. The Valentinian one. If it's not, I'm going to feel super stupid. Because then I could have bought my bag too. I mean, it wouldn't be the first time I did something idiotic. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my God. So, as we were talking about, like, at the very beginning of the stream, I had my brother uh, over today. We were hanging out a bit. And I finally got him to try Elden Ring, dude. I'm so happy that he finally tried it. And he actually said, like, it's decent. He might end up downloading it, dude. It's so good. And he just didn't believe me. He, he wanted to... He was just going to, like, skip out on it entirely and not try it out. But it's actually a really good game, man. It's so much fun. It's hard, yeah, but like, oh my god. I'm just glad he gave it a, a chance. Even if he didn't end up liking it, like, I'm just glad he tried it, but... No, don't leave the restaurant. Alright, what do we got? Uh, so that's the chocolate, but we don't have chocolate or silver. We just have that one gold. Son of a bitch, dude. Okay, so this one's gold, but we need Mulberry and Muggle to make it happen. <laughs> so, never mind. Those gold pieces are useless to me right now. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Mulberry and Muggle. Maybe this dude will sell it in the shop. Mulberry and Muggle. But it has to be, it can't be the seeds. I need the whole thing. Mr. Shopkeep, sir, I have a proposition for you. I will give you money in exchange for fruit. Does that sound good to you? Do you accept these terms? No, I don't want advice. I just want to buy shit. Yes, I did. Buy. Uh, egg, hot cross buns, cheese, milk. You do sell the cacao. Uh, but I think it was silver that I needed for the cacao. So, useless. I mean, we can check the text to make sure. Kitchen menu. No, it's this one. Praline chocolate. Yeah, aerial coin. Not not the other one. Damn it. Oh, well. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Oh, and it brings us back to here. That's nice that it brings us back to here. But it does reset our progress as far as as far as we uh as far as we know. Uh no, it doesn't look like it even reset our progress, man. Unless, uh, huh, like maybe we'll have to, 
like maybe things will spawn again, but it doesn't seem like we're actually like we're not required to fight them though. So that's fine. That that wasn't all that bad. A little bit of a waste of time, I guess, since we couldn't make anything. But not the end of the world. Now, can we please get a map? That's that's what I really want here, man. I just want to know what I'm getting into with each fight. Like, how fucked am I going to be? Like, is this a five-star area or a... Oh. Oh. I hit L2. The game didn't like that. <laughs> oh, hi, guys. How are you today? Are y'all doing well? Oh, I'm on fire. Stupid fairies. Fucking flame magic. Some devil magic there. Freaking connection sucks today. How far are you from home? Like, you still got a long while before you make it back home, or are you pretty close at this point? So that really sucks if you're far still, too. I mean, shit, if it weren't for you, I have no idea when we would end up playing this game, even. You're at home, but the wind just sucks. That's shitty, dude. Hopefully, it clears up a little bit for you, so at least your connection's all right. Rosimile? Rosimile's nice. A salad recipe? Dope. We got... Recommended for a balanced diet. Onion, carrots, and turnies. Onions, carrots, and turnips. That's... No lettuce? <laughs> I mean, like that's fine if that's how you like your salad, man. But I don't know. I like a little bit of lettuce in my salad. Personally. But yeah, like we would have played it eventually. And whenever we played it, I'm sure I would have enjoyed it. But, dude, it could have been, you know, years from now before we ended up getting around to this. You like ranch? Well, I mean, I like ranch in my salad too. Don't get me wrong. But, like, I, I still like lettuce. Are you just saying, like, you don't like salad at all? You just like the ranch on it? <laughs> Years and years and years. Quite possibly. Honestly. Ooh, a Ningenda. <laughs> Lost in this incredible forest. It must be the fairy forest you've heard about. Yes. Yes, it is. What do you have to buy, good sir? Uh, Power Stone. Mm, I mean, that is nice, but since you can only have one equipable at a time, nope. And we don't really have money for anything else. A Naple Seed would be okay, but, like, we get so many drops. I'm not going to worry about it. Fuck it. We can sell some shit, though. Like... No, we're going to keep the Rosimile, because that'll just basically let us get a free... A free, um... Buh, 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 Naple. Got a couple onions. That seed that we're keeping for other shit. Our ingredients. Yeah. Nope. We're, we're going to keep everything else, bro. Uh, thank you for the coin, though. And goodbye. I'm just surprised that we ran into another shop already. It's weird. Like, two being back-to-back -back like that, I feel like. But... Alright. Um, so, we haven't gone this way yet. I guess we'll just go here and... <laughs> hope that we can get a map somewhere. Please, God, help us. Another boss fight. Holy shit. Okay. So lots of shops, but lots of bosses. That's what that's what we got going on. Fair. Oh, double boss. Okay. Two unicorn knights. Oh, yep. Yeah, we we just took that fucking hit like a champ. Uh, can I maybe open the menu? <laughs> Please and thank you, game. Holy shit. I'm gonna die. Uh, not antidotes. We need healing tonic. They're all partially used. None of them are, are empty. Okay. Or none of them are partially used, I mean. Yep, have fun. Ah, it'll be fine. Oh. <laughs> if I stop sucking ass, maybe. Uh, okay. Foes on burst. And then... Healing tonic. Oh, God. Jump. Jump. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. Okay. Oh, shit. We are so fucked right now, dude. It's fine. Just down all the healing tonic. <laughs> oh, God. Jump. Please jump. But you fucking dumbass. Holy shit. I hate the charge attack on these bros. Here goes all of the healing tonic that we got. Yep, we're dead. <laughs> Cyclones are friends? You mean like uh, the attack cyclone? I mean, Cyclone's fine. I like Cyclone, but 
I don't think it would have done me much good there, TBH. Uh, since I know what we're getting into now, I'm going to go ahead and take one healing tonic first. And then what I could do... Oh, we have the regen. I should have popped that. I'm really bad about keeping stuff until, like, way too late. Because even when they jump in the air, it'll hit them. Yeah, but I'm more worried about me getting hit. <laughs> it's me getting hit that was the problem there. Uh, what I do want to do is just overload. Uh, not that. Jump. Ah, whatever. Fuck it. Ah, fuck. It's that charge attack, man. That's what, that's what does it. Because the charge attack does so much fucking damage. Okay. And then... Screw it. Let's use regen. And you know what? We have like... We have three uses of that. Maybe we just use one. Where's the regen potion? I know I have a regen. There it is. So regen fast. I hope it regens fast. It does not regen fast. Hey, what's up, Valkyries Grace? Thank you for coming in today, man. Um... How are you doing? I need I need some more health. So let's take a healing potion, and then I'm just going to try the fire spirit thing. I don't think we need it for this fight, but I've never tried them before. So, screw it. Oh, they, like, protected me entirely. I did not see that guy charging. Fuck, dude. We're, we're so fucked again. Double unicorns, tough fight it is, man. <laughs> this is only the second time I've tried it so far, but holy hell. Like, it's so weird that I have more trouble with these bosses half the time than I do uh, normal, like, actual bosses. And it's that charge attack is what keeps doing it to me. Because it does so much fucking damage, and I... I'm, like, not watching the map to see when they're doing the charge attack. I'm just, you know, focusing on the one that I'm trying to hit. <laughs> and that's what's done me in twice now. It's all right, though. We'll get it. Let's get the healing popped quick. And then as soon as they touch down... You know what? Screw it. Let's use the fire one real quick, too. Since that, like, protected me entirely. And then as soon as they touch down, I'm going to do the, uh, there we go. Okay. Not that. The, uh, overload. So I can do, like, extra damage. And then just try to take one out. Quick. Okay, well, you know what? I didn't want to get hit by that, but it, the, uh, the flame dude protected me anyway, so. Uh, can you not, like, push me? I really want to kill one, please. Just one. Is he dead? I think he's dead. There's one down. Excellent. That's all we needed. All right. Uh, and this is going to cost me some time, but I want to plant that maple real quick because there's definitely enough shit flying around here for it to grow. You were just checking Twitch and saw the stream? Well, yeah, dude. I appreciate you coming in. Every Saturday, we try to play Udensphere. We missed last Saturday because of uh, Easter and, like, work making me work on Easter and shit, which, you know, sucked, but you're here, but lurking because you're playing uh, Overcooked with your wife? Dude, that's totally fine. <laughs> you are good. I just appreciate you being here, bro. I really want to collect that Naple before it disappears. I, I know it's going to hurt our, our rank, but like, I don't care. Get the Naple. Naples are delicious. Also, uh, you can die. I thought these dropped two Naples. I guess not. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. It's fine. Everything's fine. Let's just use another healing tonic. Healing tonic. And then maybe do the overload again uh, after we GTFO a little bit. Overload. And then try to just kill this dude quick. We got it. This fight. This is it. Okay, that, that kind of hurt. I didn't expect you to, to jump again when I was, like, on top of your ass. There we go. Dead. Now we just got to get the stupid fairy down, and then we're good to go. Easy, boy. Hell fucking yeah. All kinds of cypher, too. There we go. That was a lot harder than I expected it to be. Can we please get a map now so we at least know what the hell we're getting into with each fight? 
Also, yeah, hey, OptiJack. I didn't say hello, I guess. I just said thank you for being here, so hello. <laughs> uh, Naple Seed, nice. Is that a level 10 material? Cool, cool. Hey, th oh my god, thank you so much for the subscription, man. I appreciate it. Was that a was that a gift sub? Oh, shit, dude. Well, thank you, Rue, and uh, thank you for being here, Valkyrie. Thank you both. Um, okay. What were we doing? It usually drops two Naples, but you destroyed one before it was... Oh! I didn't realize you could do that, to be honest. Okay. Well, shit, that's... Uh, I'll have to watch for that in the future. <laughs> like, I saw the little baby one growing. I just didn't realize that I could break it. I just saw the fairy up there and was like, I'll fucking murder her real quick. Why don't I? Um, okay, okay. I don't think... I mean, our menu is doing pretty decent at the time, right? Nope, we are, like, empty, actually, so we need to do some shit. Um, let's see. We can take one of these level zeros and mix it with a couple seeds, I guess. Uh, I mean, all we have are naples, though, and I kind of want to grow those. Fuck it. There's a shop somewhere. I'm sure we'll come across the shop again soon enough. And we'll just sell all the shit. Instead of, uh, instead of mixing them. Sometimes during ad breaks, we just talk, so I'd love to have you in the loop. We do, we do. And, of course, you get the emotes. Right now, there's only one custom emote. A second one coming very soon, and then uh, more coming after that. There are other ones planned. It's just uh, my artist just had a baby. Um, so, like, they are having, you know, they're adjusting right now, spending time with, with their child, which is, you know, totally understandable, IMO. Uh, but, yeah, there are there are more emotes in the works, too, though. Can we power, please? Thank you. Fairy wanna die? Good fairy. Uh, we have, those were similes, so I'm gonna plant another Naple real quick. Cause if we need to, we can just plant the Rosimile to get it to grow the rest of the way. Which we probably will need to, I'm assuming. I don't think those guys dropped that much stuff. Map, please. I see a piece of paper. Nope. Chocolate fondant. I mean... <laughs> Creamy melted chocolate delight. Egg, pure cacao, milk. The cost will be one aerial coin. Did we end up getting any aerial coins? I don't actually know that we did. We got some of those, like, Valentinian ones. The, the gold ones. Uh, speaking of, though, I have no inventory space for this shit. I probably shouldn't have actually, uh, thrown the, the thing just yet, but oh well, it's fine, well, <laughs> well, uh, I don't know, just mix up some shit, I guess we could probably use another healing potion since we did use one, and we'll eat the, uh, we'll eat the naples that we get, okay, so don't hit the one until they're both grown, because I don't, I don't want to risk it, there we go, okay. There's one, there's two. Excellent, thank you very much. Now we'll just go ahead and eat all those so we can try and get our level up a little bit. Or at least get close to it. Yeah, 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 you can without two. Oh yeah, I guess I did get some aerial coins. That's the uh, the second one in, right? The the 5G ones? Or is that the 20 gold one, the aerial coin? I can't remember. But regardless, I did get some, I think. Yep, yep, which? The second one's in? For 5G? I'm assuming so, because those ones seem to be a lot more common. So it'd make more sense if those are the ones that, uh... That are used for the food more. The 5G. 5G, yeah. I thought so, but I couldn't be sure. Okay, we don't really care about mulberries at this point, other than for cooking, I guess. I definitely want to keep the pure cacao, because we can try to make some chocolate shit. Um... Let's grab this level zero one and then just mix it with with some of these seeds here. Get a little bit of inventory space back. And then I'm assuming though, if we mix a level two with a high level one, it won't multiply like they do otherwise. It does with the 10. Does that work with the level like 61 though? It doesn't, it actually takes it down. We'll mix it with the 10. Take the 10 up to 20. Why not, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool. Alright, so that's a few inventory slots. Uh, we still haven't got the menu open, or the, the map, though. 
So we're just, we're, we're flying blind here. That's fine. <laughs> Who needs to know where they're going anyways, right? Okay, it's not a boss encounter. That's good. Is it, is it any encounter? Hello? There we go. Took them a minute to spawn in, I guess. We have a bunch of, bunch of Cypher. Might as well burst these fools. Oh my lord, fire. Where's the fire fairy? Get her gone real quick, because... Oh, there's two of them, too. Yeah, no, definitely get them gone. I do not want to deal with burning. Well, it looks like only one of them does fire. Oh, nope, I lied. They definitely both do fire. <laughs> oh, do they heal, too? What a bitch. There you go. She's dead. No more fire. Fire bad. There's more. More fairies. More people. Oh, that slowdown is real. Uh, you there? There you are. I saw your foot. And... Dunzo. Ha. Try to fuck with me. I am the greatest Valkyrie of all time. You don't stand a chance. Please and thank you. I wonder what our next spell is going to end up being. I like that overload one, especially for bosses and shit like that. Alchemy Mix B? That's not a map. <laughs> All I want is a map in my life. Hey, that's the Blizzard one, though, so we can make that, uh, that Blizzard at some point. I guess we already kind of used the potion for it, though. The, the base, I mean. You almost spoiled something, but you won't. Yeah, try not, try not to spoil if you can help it. <laughs> I mean, if it's not, like, a huge spoiler, I don't care that much. If it's just, like, uh, something small. So this is a dead end. So I'm assuming that means it's going to be a uh, high level fight, like a level 5 or something. Which means I'm actually just going to go ahead and uh, heal a little bit. I'll just eat a couple navel. Oh, nope. They spawned in a lot quicker than I expected. Holy shit. They're doing a lot of damage, too. Holy fuck, dude. They did a lot of damage real fucking quick. It was just a witty remark, but it's also a huge spoiler. Yeah, probably for the best we don't, then. You can make your witty remark after I see whatever it would have spoiled. How about that? If we even remember it by then. <laughs> I know my memory is shit, and I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly, yours isn't the greatest either. Oh my god, these dudes are kicking my ass. Oh, fire. Fire. Is there, like, a better healing potion that you can unlock at some point? Oh, God. Because the 200 is, like, I thought it was good at first, and it's still pretty decent. But, like, holy hell, dude, we're doing so much, or taking so much damage. You don't remember there being one? That sucks. Oh, nope, we missed. Hi, fire fairy lady. Can you, like, stop running away for a moment, please, and just die? It's difficult to hold back. You have to think twice all the time if it's a spoiler or not. Yeah, I feel it, man. I'd be I'd be the same way if the, if the roles were reversed here. It was a game that I played the hell out of and watching someone else play it. Yeah, I'd struggle with it. Oh, hi, there's more of you. I didn't, I didn't expect more to show up. Uh, do you like Cyclones? <laughs> it seems like you do. You guys seem to enjoy the Cyclone a fair bit. I think that might be enough to grow something. Do we have, like, another Napal or anything seen? Yes, we do. Cool. I really hope that's enough. Oh, shit, there's more of them. Yeah, that should definitely be enough then. Uh, Cyclone. Yes. Deal all the damage. Ah, uh, shit. Close on burst. Get him. Hi. <laughs> Fire. <laughs> Please tell me this is the last one. Is it over? GG? Thank you. Goodness sakes, man. <laughs> that was a lot of fucking enemies. Uh, I guess suck in whatever is left. Which was a lot. Holy hell. I mean, we only got a C on it, but I'll take it. Whatever. 
I ain't mad about it. Is that the map? No, <laughs> it's not. Holy shit, dude. I'm convinced maps no longer exist in this game. We got so far and then we're just like, we're done. No, no maps, no maps for you. The king of soup needs chicken, the herb seed, or is that just the herb? Uh, onions, carrots, and it costs one commemorative coin. That's like the super expensive one, I believe. Dedicated to quality, Puka Kitchen. Well, maybe we'll get a chance to make it someday. Right now, though, we have a lot of shit to pick up. Let's see, what do we got? Do we have any more level zeros? We do, we have a couple. So take that and mix with seeds. Do I have any seeds? We have a half-eaten maple. But honestly, I'm going to finish eating that because I kind of want to... Uh, wait, did we not pick up seeds? Holy hell, I know I'm blind, but... Shit, I guess not, other than the, uh, the, the rove wart thing. It's a great recipe, lots of experience. Okay, so you know what? Cancel that. Let's start eating our, our napal that we got. That'll clear up a little bit of space, and we can just throw the core. I don't really care about that. Uh, Rue, can you, uh... I know you called dibs. Can you get rid of that for me? I don't want to do it on you this time, you know? Let you have the, the pleasure. <laughs> uh, pick up the... Uh, okay, we're full. We can't pick up the mulberry See, That's fine. We'll eat another maple. Naple. Not maple. Down all the naple. Thank you. I wish that deleted it from the chat log, too. But uh, here's how we do that. We just... Uh, removing... Spam from chat log PS2. There we go. <laughs> Took care of that real quick. <laughs> it's your first ban. How's it feel, Rue? You excited? You got you got to do one all for yourself. Okay, we definitely have a couple seats now, so we can take uh. A couple, uh, da, 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 da. where's our level zero shit? Okay, there's a 10, there's a 20, there's a zero. And then, <laughs> awesome. <laughs> oh, man. Mix some mulberries in there. How do we make the healing potions again? Does anybody remember? I can look it up real quick if I need to, but... It was what, a level... Was it level one and a carrot? No. Level one and an onion? No. Was it level two in something? I do not remember. Anybody got it or do I need to look it up real quick? I mean, it'd take me like two seconds, I guess. Just go to the, <laughs> to the fucking menu and find the healing potion. All right, looking it up. Text. We got... New title unlocked, Lord Rue, the Banner of Spammer. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Healing Tonic is Material Zero in Carrot. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, there's another fight happening here. Uh, So this isn't a required fight. I could just skip these dudes, but fuck it, I guess. We'll, we'll take the, the free foes on. Uh, can you please die? Thank you kindly. Hey, level 26. Still haven't unlocked a new spell, though. Shaking my damn head. Uh, Level 0. Level 0. Level 10. That'll work. Level 20 will also work. There's a level 0. Mix that with that. Get some healing pot. Thank you kindly. Good sir or madam. And on to the next one. You are uber happy now. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it, honestly, Rue. That's awesome. <laughs> I mean, I hope we don't get too many more of them in, uh, because, you know, I really don't want to have them in my chat, <laughs> but, uh, I, I'm glad that getting rid of them makes you happy. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, shit, we are due for an ad break, too. Uh, is this a boss encounter? No, it's a regular room, so we'll finish this room up first. I didn't realize it's already been uh, just under an hour since the last ad. Hello, enemies. Uh, hi there. How art thou? 
Why do some of the guys appear green on the map and then other ones appear gray? Are they like different levels? Is it like the, the hard ones appear green and then the regular dudes appear gray or something? Or is it just like whatever the hell they want to do? Oh, nope. This is going to end up being another big fight. Did I have a Naple seed by any chance? I have Naples. Oh, you know what? I should probably grow one of these because I have two. But I, I'm going to need the actual herbs for, for at least one of the uh, encounter or one of the recipes. Uh, foes on burst them. Burst them. Uh, the cyclone should help take care of some of these fairies. Although, if they run away, it doesn't help so much. Can you please hit up in the air? Thank you. Holy hell. Oh, dude, there's a... There's a, a butterfly. I hope the butterfly gets sucked into the... Into the, the plant. I don't think they work that way, sadly. And that ended up being it. Oh, wait, but if I, like, start sucking it out of the butterfly and then stop, it should go over to it. I don't think the herb's gonna grow. Son of a bitch. Uh, do we have any carrots left? We might be able to... Oh, now we get the fucking map. Thanks, dude. What are you? You're not a simile. Neither are you. Um, we could mix up a potion. Because that releases Fozons. Can we make, like, a high-level pot? What happens if we mix, like, a level 10 with a level 20? It just goes to zero? Uh, no. What happens if we mix, mix a level 20 with... Well, there's another level 20 on the ground. What happens if we mix two level 20s? Does it go to 40 by any chance? 20 and... Well, that would take it up to 40 if we mix it with, with a healing potion. And since we're just going to make another healing potion with it, that's not a terrible idea. Where's my other level 20? There it is. No, that also takes it to zero. Holy fuck. Okay, so, yeah. So we'll mix it with a healing tonic, I guess. What about antidote? That also takes it up to 40, and we only had one use left in that. So, no, we're going to do that. And then we'll mix that level 40... Oh, okay. If we mix it with something else, it'll take it up to to 80. Okay, yeah. Dude, fuck it. I mean, we don't need the cooler potions right now. And those are pretty easy to make. Yeah, fuck it. Okay, mix it with that. Dude, we're going to get so many Fozons. Hopefully, it's enough to grow this herb. <laughs> I'm going to be really mad if we do all this and it's not even enough. All right, 80 mixed with... Okay, so mixing it with anything else seems like it's going to take it down a level. So now we just got to make the potion. Carrot me, please. Uh, hopefully that's enough. Foes on spam. Ah, dude. Okay, we didn't even need that many extra. We didn't We didn't have to use all that. We probably could have grown a Naple with it too, but oh well. All right, so is it, is it grown? Is it ready to be? There it is. R-V-E? How do you even pronounce that? <laughs> R-V-E wart? Dude, we literally got the map one tile before the boss encounter. <laughs> well, fuck me, I guess. That's fine, whatever. It is what it is. No point being mad about it. We're going to do a uh, quick run around to see if we can pick up any ingredients. And then we're going to save and take that break. There's a few rules on how to level the materials. You don't want to spoil it, but if you have a question, feel free to ask. Yeah, I mean, if you have any tips and tricks like that, I don't really consider that spoilers. Stuff like that is fine. I just don't want, like, story spoilers. That's, that's pretty much the only thing that I worry about. I don't really care, like, about, you know, tips and tricks on, on you know, what's good, what's not good. Um, prepare for, you know, like, if, if you know we're going to be in an area where a lot of uh, fire shit is required very soon, and there's, like, some fire thing that I skipped over or something, then, like, yeah, you can holler at me for shit like that. That doesn't bug me at all. I just don't like story spoilers, TBH. Because I, I mostly enjoy games for the gameplay and for the story, you know? The gameplay can't be spoiled. How are you going to spoil that? You know, if it's fun to play, it's fun to play. And then story, yeah. 
Uh, but anyways, yeah, the uh, Twitch is going to run an ad here in just a couple minutes on me. So I am going to go ahead and run one ahead of time so we don't have that happening in the middle of gameplay. And while we're doing that, we can go ahead and, uh, you know, stand up, stretch, get a drink, do all that fun stuff. So we'll be right back, guys, in just a few minutes. Thank you so much for being here, and I will see you then. Gameplay footage on YouTube, Twitch, or whatever, so that you can kind of get a feel for whether a game is something that you're even interested in. Because it's so hard to know, right, whenever there's no sort of gameplay uh, demo. Like, how are you supposed to know? Especially with new fan franchises or massive reboots like, like God of War was. I can I can see somebody really liking old God of War and then not really caring for the new God of War, for instance. Because it's just that much of a, of a different game. I don't imagine there's too many people in that boat. But I, I could see there being people in that boat, though. Very easy. Easy fight, no problem. Game FAQs is still around, wonderful site. Yeah, I use it all the time, man. If I ever need a, a guide for if I'm trying to 100% something or whatever. I usually don't try to use it for games on my first playthrough or anything. But, like, if it's a game I really love and want to go back and replay. Or uh, if it's an RPG that I, I don't see myself ever replaying, I might hop on there just to make sure I'm not missing anything, like, really cool. But... Yeah, no, it, it is an amazing site. And, uh, saved me a lot of money, too, right? Because I didn't have to buy guidebooks and crap. Could just look this stuff up on game FAQs. So the game's trying to give us some hints on how we can, like, throw people in the air and like, grapple them and rip people in half and whatnot. But, like, I know what I'm doing for the most part, though. So I did just play this not too long ago for the Just One More Level podcast, JOML, so that helps a lot, too. It was a, a decent little reminder of how to play the game. And, of course, for that series, we only do the first hour or two of gameplay anyways. So, I uh, the, the stuff that I'm playing through tonight will probably be mostly the same stuff that I just played through for JOML. But uh, I'll tell you, though, games that I am interested in 100% complete, well, not, maybe not 100%ing, but completing on stream at least, God of War is definitely towards the top of that list. Because, again, one of my favorite series. The only reason I'm a little more iffy with God of War than some other titles, like maybe Kingdom Hearts or Lord of the Rings or whatever, is because it does have slightly more adult themes throughout it. And I usually try to stay somewhat PG, but... Uh, doesn't have to be exactly and of course we can always turn on mature mode like we did tonight this is the one part that i feel like i die at the most man walking across these stupid poles it's so easy to just fall into the ground oh or this part with the arrows this is rough want to play it even more since watching it but it was nice to see the story because you still haven't got a ps4 it's you the visions they were real the gods came to me, told me their champion would come and rescue us from the Hydra. But you're too late! We're pinned down! I'm playing through OBS right now, so I'm a little bit worried about the lag and whatnot. <laughs> Dude just get murdered in front of us. Yeah, it's rough, man. You know, it's uh, getting to that point now with the PS5 being out and whatnot. It's getting to that point to where you might be able to find a PS2 at some point for a relatively cheap price. From like a uh, secondhand store or something. If you can, again, I would highly suggest it. So many amazing games. And you can use it as a PlayStation Now box if you have internet. Um, even if you don't have like consistent internet, because I know you don't at the moment. Uh, you can use PlayStation Now to, like, download games to the console, too. How, same with, like, Xbox Game Pass sort of deal. You can download it. That all makes a lot of sense, actually, Valkyrie. Like, a ton of sense. And I guess that's why, like, when I was trying to mix the 20 and 20 together, it didn't work. Because the level cap he said is 99. So, like, for the level 20 one, I guess the best thing for me to do would probably be to craft like a level four one right and then take that level four and mix it with the 20 to get up to 80 we could do something like that that's pretty cool yeah that's actually that's really good advice i appreciate that 
Because, I mean, like, it doesn't make the potion any better or whatever, but getting all those extra phosons is helpful. For Valkyrie to come alone to a place like this. But one request. I mean, fair, honestly, like. <laughs> Uh, y'all done fucked up. <laughs> have you not heard of me and, and all of the amazing things that I have done? You're about to find out the amazing things I can do. After probably four or five tries, because let's be honest, I'm going to die. <laughs> the first couple deaths are just learning experiences, right? You got to you gotta get them through so you can get into the, the real meat and potatoes of it. Ooh. Okay, this is a pretty fighting area. Mercedes uses lots of potions, so probably, like, try to knock her out quick is what you're saying. Like, don't give her time to heal, I'm assuming, is what uh, what that means. Um, I'm going to use a fire spirit real quick, even though it seems like she uses fire magic, so it probably won't, like, harm her very much. But in doing that, I can use some uh, Naples to try and get my level up real quick. I really should have done that before the boss fight, before we came in here, but I didn't, so it's too late now. <laughs> because one or two munches on this should get me to a high enough uh, experience to get my full HP back. Also, man, that was... Those fire spirits disappeared fucking quick. She eventually reloads her weapon, so attack, attack, attack when she is. All very good advice. Will do as soon as I get that. There we go. Okay. I know you're not, like, the one that I'm here for, but... Uh, Cyclone? Yes. Does she, like, ever fall down? Holy fuck. Okay, I mean, she can hit the hell of us. Also, lots of backup. I'm seeing that. <laughs> I feel like most of the bosses in this game have a lot of backup. Uh, foes on burst, maybe. Since she's so close. Yes. There we go. Come to the ground. Or oh, that didn't last very long. Holy shit. Okay. She really likes being in the air, huh? I mean, I guess she is a fairy. It's kind of her thing. I really, I kind of wish we had that regen potion still. Uh, I should have, while she was on the ground, I should have used that opportunity to use the overload. Which I'm going to do now. Uh, because she's on the ground again. Uh, don't die, though. If I die, it's going to be pointless. Okay, uh, potion. Potion me, baby. One more time. She has to be on the ground to do the reload. Very cool. Okay. Good info. Uh, oh, dude, you're so close. Just die. Yes. GG. <laughs> Not too bad, actually. Not too bad. See, like I said, for some reason, I seem to have an easier time with the story bosses than I do just the random, like, bosses we do. Uh, uh, the, the random bosses that we fight in the middle of the levels. Like, because uh, the last story boss we fight, we had a relatively easy time with. Not, like, easy, easy, but easier than the, the other dudes. Thank you. Thank you. I stick in a hito, Momono at Surai. Dana, I still in a monolith to our little Kimiwa. Mototsurai, Chigai. Good, Dorin. Kumu no 
内にあった希望という名の淡い光はもはや闇にかき消えた。We made a mistake, that's all. Chilly, my boy. <laughs> He's fucked, ain't he? Not yet. Oh shit, that is it? <laughs> was that it for him? GG Oswald? Oh damn, dude. I thought he was gonna find like some hope right at the end or something. Oops. And right before we returned with the ring to give back to him. Imagine that, man. Oh, it's our final chapter with Gwendolyn? Getting her man back. I still don't understand, like, the whole falling for him so quick sort of thing, but whatever. Had to for the plot, I suppose. Fair enough, you know? Save your game? Uh, yeah. I mean, we just saved before the do. We probably don't have to, but whatever. I'd rather have too many saves than lose everything. What doesn't seem like a lot? Like it, a lot of time has passed. Fair enough. Like in between cutscenes and all that shit. Yeah, I mean, I guess there has been like a couple wars and shit in between <laughs> all of the different encounters we've had, huh? Enough time for whole countries to, to fall and shit, or our dad to get possessed. から大津丸殿様は食事も取らず打ち沈んでおいででした。うん。姫様が魔法からお目覚めになってあんなに幸せなご様子でしたのに。死神に連れ去られるなんて。ブロム様は。How do you say that? Is it Hauja? Hauja? I'm assuming that's like the name of the reapers, right? A lot happens off screen this game like in a theater play. Fair. Halia. What you got? Uh, bye. Base material a shine. Release a holy light to illuminate the area. That's neat. Increase attack fire by 30%, but I don't really want to spend. Does our money roll over from one character to the next? Because you said this is the final chapter for Gwendolyn. So do all the coins that we have go to the to the next one? Or is that is that a no go? You don't think so, but can't remember for sure. Ooh, and we do need shine. I'm assuming the last area. I mean, I guess that makes sense if we're going back to get or going to get her man back, and he's in like the deep dark hell scape, whatever. That's pretty cool. HP each time damage is dealt to the enemy. I like I like the twenty percent that we have better though. You're literally going to the underworld, yeah. And I'll tell you what, since shine's so cheap, before I like accidentally waste one of them coins. We're going to go and see if we can buy anything from the kitchen first. Because I think we have everything we need to make, like, one of those chocolate things. I don't think we have any turnies to make that soup that apparently is really good, but, like... Some things are only narrated, not shown. Do, do, do. Uh, something that you might remember, does the kitchen and shit stay unlocked for the next character? Or do you have to, uh, like, re-unlock all that stuff as well? Some of the things that do happen you only find out with certain characters? Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Because you're seeing, like, the story from different sides, right? Different angles. And different pieces as well. Like, while she was knocked out for however long she was knocked out for. I imagine you would see some of that with some of the other characters and etc. You believe they do? Cool. That's good. That's that's actually really helpful. <laughs> A long time, I can tell you that. I don't know. What can you get me today? We got some takeout. 
Uh, that's the praline chocolate. But didn't we get like a better version of it? Fondant chocolate? 1900 experience and max HP plus 13. That's good. Oh, we don't have the muggle for that. We only have one milk. Oh, dude, that one does 2200 though. Can we... Can we buy milk from out there? Because I kind of want to do the fondant chocolate because it'll give us more inventory space. But like this one's just better. I hope we can buy milk out there. You think you should be able to? I mean, regardless, again, this one's just better. So we're definitely going to make this one. I mean, I guess it doesn't increase our max HP by as much. It's only 8 instead of 13. But regardless. Bruh, that looks really good. I kind of want to eat that myself. Be back soon. You got to head to Petco with your sister? No problem, dude. Take your time. No fighting the final boss without me? I mean, I won't try to, but, like, <laughs> don't take too long. That's all I'm saying. All right. Uh, yeah, leave the restaurant. Let's see if we can buy some milk, dude. If not, there's that other chocolate recipe that we can make, the praline chocolate or whatever. That way we can still at least use up our, our chocolate that we got. Just remember, no spending Ariel, Commemorative, or Valentine, Valentina, Valentino, whatever the hell they're called. Now, I don't really care about the advice, man. I just want to buy some shit, please. <laughs> uh, Milg. Give me the Milg, please. Oh, we did get a Commemorative coin. Dope. Okay. Uh, Rangang Silver. We don't use those for anything. Ra Ra Ragnan? Whatever. Give me some milk. And then I want to make some chocolate. I love chocolate IRL, so like, hell fucking yeah, dude. Buying all the chocolate stuff. Let's go. You're on your break. Hey, Noodle. Thank you so much for uh, coming back to us on your break. You're on your, your what, lunch break, I guess? If you want to buy, like, an ice cream cone or something from work, uh, I'll give you the money back for it whenever I get paid. That way you can have some ice cream, too, since uh, you were you were at work and I couldn't get you a Brewster's. Uh, you just missed Noodle by... Or Noodle? You just missed... Uh, Rue, by the way. Rue had to go to Petco. <laughs> Chocolate fondant. Let's go. Oh, shit. What is that one? Oh, no. That's the one we can't make. Yes, please, and thank you. 1,900 experience points and 13 max HP. I will take it. It's not the same. I'm sorry. I was just trying to I was trying to do, like, some sort of, uh, you know, compromise with you. I mean, we'll go to Brewster's next time we get to have some time off together. Or the next time I have to take you to work. Up to level 26. Hell freaking yeah. Uh, okay, we still have more coins. So we might be able to make something from the other place. Do they sell cocoa? I don't remember if they sell cocoa out there. I'll have to check that too. Because if they do, we can get at least one more thing from here. What did you get? I just got a single scoop of... Uh, Oh, what's it called? The the red velvet cake batter? I got a single scoop of that. And then uh, my brother got a peanut butter milkshake. Oh, which reminds me. Uh, Food-wise, I went to eat at a Whopper. That's where me and my brother, we just, you know, grabbed some food real quick. Holy hell, the Texas Whopper is actually really good. If you don't like jalapenos, uh, you, won't, you won't enjoy it. There's not, like, a ton of them on there or anything like that. But there was some pickled... I'm pretty sure it's pickled jalapeno. It could have been a, uh, a different pickle something, but a banana milkshake sounds so good. Also, you got that four combo for being sad. <laughs> sad emojis in all your messages. Triggering that combo. Um, shit, I completely forget what I was saying. But yeah, oh yeah, no, the Texas. Yeah, thank you for reminding me. The Texas Double Whopper. It's actually like really good. I really enjoyed it. Uh... I know you won't like a noodle, but for anybody else out there, if you like if you like Whoppers and you like jalapenos, highly suggest it. Though it is a little bit expensive. Shit. No, I didn't mean to do that. Go back. Stacker King sounds good with some extra sauce. You're just wanting all the food right now, aren't you? 
So we need a crab for that, it looks like. For that, we just need a turnip. I wish we had a turnip. And for that, we just need lamb. Holy fuck, 8,300 experience and a commemorative coin. We have the commemorative coin. Uh, I don't think anybody sells meat, though. That's all we need is meat. That is so annoying. That is a ton of experience. Oh, man. Um, <laughs> We'll check. We're going to check and see if they sell meat out here. Because if they do, that is a ton of experience, bro. And that'll clear up a lot of inventory space, which is nice. <laughs> I just Inventory space is so bad. It's the only thing they need to they need to fix in this game for 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 me personally. Like, okay, bye. So you sell the sheep seed. I could just go grow a sheep real quick, I guess. Um, is it worth it? Probably, yeah. Let's uh let's buy a sheep seed. But oh shit, that's right. We don't actually have that much money, do we? Because most of our money is in the, the coins that they use. Okay, we do have two titanium gold, so that's enough. We need to make sure to have enough left to buy at least one of the, the light things. But I mean, whenever we whenever we go... Shit, how am I even going to grow this? I probably don't... I can mix up a potion or something to get it to grow. Maybe. That was probably dumb, honestly. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have done that. I can make a level four and go with that. Oh man. How much does a baromet need? Only 12, that's not too bad. Yeah, I think we can make that work. I think we can make that work. Okay, we're good, we're good. So uh, let's go ahead and sell some shit to him real quick. Probably didn't even use my account to get rewards of Brewster's. Well, no, I didn't have your phone. How was I supposed to use your account? You had problems with your connection. Did you miss something? You haven't missed anything. I've just been doing some shopping. That's it. Uh, bought a couple recipes, and I'm going to go try to grow a sheep real quick so we can make that really, really uh, good recipe. The one that does, like, almost 9,000 experience points. And uh, that's, that's pretty much it. That's all you missed. Rue had to go to Petco, but they'll be back. Uh, Noodle came in on their break and said hello. That's 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 everything that's happened. <laughs> so no, I haven't really missed anything. We actually do need to make some more healing potions anyway, so it'll probably be a good idea to stop somewhere to go somewhere real quick and uh, get get a little bit of stuff. We'll we'll come back for you guys. Don't worry. Where we need somewhere, not there. Maybe the deep forest? The deep forest is probably a pretty decent place to go. Yeah, because it won't be too cold or anything. It won't be too hot. We don't have to worry about like taking damage from, from the environment. We can just get some Fozons to grow our sheep and uh, maybe craft a potion or two. Uh, speaking of ingredients, uh, Cubs Bane. I mean, I'll take it, whatever. Do I still have a map for this place? I imagine I do. Oh, God, I feel like they're dropping a lot of shit. You know what? I'm just going to grow my sheep here. It doesn't take that much, and I plan on making a potion anyways, so... Is that going to be enough? Hey, thank you for the bits, Noodle. I appreciate it, love. Seriously, thank you, thank you. Okay, so that was not enough to grow the sheep on its own, but that's fine. Let's do a little bit of potion crafting. I was going to do like some sort of crazy potion crafting thing, but I don't honestly think we need to, do we? Uh, we do have... We have at least two carrots, which is good because I think we need one for the soup. But I'm still going to use the higher level, the 20, just to make sure we get enough to grow the sheep. You chose the sad Isaac one because you're being neglected? How are you being neglected? <laughs> you are not even being close to neglected, you weirdo. <laughs> oh, no, I guess we didn't uh, keep the map in between sessions, in between runs here. 
of this area. Did we get uh, two lamb chops for this? We did. Cool. I, I honestly didn't realize that uh, it dropped two. I mean, I'm sure I, I realized that the first time I did this grew a, a, a bare met seed, but I've completely forgotten about it now. No ice cream or stacker king. You weren't with me. I had just dropped you off at work. What do you want from me? I'm sorry. Did you want a, uh, a pile of melted ice cream and a old soggy stacker? Onion. A carrot, maybe? Just in case we need that for another recipe? No? Okay. Well, you know what? That's fine. Oh, never mind. It's not fine. My bag's full. Uh, I'm just going to leave the onion. I don't care. All right. Exit. Home? Yes. Return to base. You just want to be loved. I love you very much, Noodle. Very, very much. All right. Uh, now we can make the dopest recipe known to man. I say that. I don't actually know if it's the best recipe in the village. Or in the village. <laughs> I mean, technically, that's right, too. The recipe only exists in the Puka village, apparently. Nobody else knows how to cook here. No, uh... <laughs> the best recipe in the, 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 the game, the universe? I don't know. I don't even know what I was trying to say at this point. I lost it. The other benefit of doing all this BS is Rue is going to be very upset if we do the final boss without them of this section. So it's probably probably a good thing that we're uh, <laughs> wasting a little bit of time here on our, our shopping excursion. It wouldn't be quite as so much time if this loading screen didn't take all day. There we go. Thank you. Welcome. Hello. I want this thing, not that thing. Where is it? Consomme. Wait. Missing ingredients? What do you, what do you mean? Did I not pick up the lamb? Or is that not lamb? That it's showing there. I'm so confused. I did all of that just to get the thingy and it's not working. What the, What am I... What is it? Is it beef? Are there cows in this game too? Am I... Is that what I need? You think they know how to cook? They just don't cook for you? <laughs> That's just kind of rude now, ain't it? Lamb chop. Is that not what it wants? Hold on. I'm going to like look up the recipe. Uh, da -da -da -da. Odin Sphere Consume. It's chicken? Is it for real? <laughs> that does not look like chicken. That does not look like chicken at all. Oh, dude. Um, What? <laughs> How many seeds does it take to grow a chicken? I have one, two... Three, four, five. I have five seeds. Although the Naple give a pretty good amount of experience. I'd rather not use those if I don't have to. Oh, shit. Yeah, I don't think it's worth it. I think it would just take too much time to try and do all that. So, okay. Just making whatever we can. Let's start with... Uh, did we end up buying the pure cacao or no? Three. It takes three. Uh, so we could do it if we just cleaned up a tiny bit of space and then... And then went and... Fuck. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. I'll check and see if he's even selling the right seeds for that or not. Because if they're not selling the, the chicken seeds, then I guess it doesn't... Oh, no. We need an egg. And I think they do sell eggs. Right? I think so. I think so. Can I, can I do the eggs right here and not go to the world map? Like, go into a level? Because if that's the case, then yeah, I'll just buy an egg and do it right here. 
I need to make sure not to use raise the chicken is worth the exp yeah i just didn't want to go back out to like a level again but thinking about it yeah i think i can just use it right here i don't have to go out into the world can't believe those are chicken recipes man okay so drop the seeds grab the chicken egg let it hatch Hopefully it works here on the, the, the main map thing. If I have to use an aerial coin or whatever to buy it, that's fine. This money doesn't transfer from one character to the next. At least we don't think it does. You don't think so, but you're not sure. You don't think it'll work here, you mean? I'm going to try it and see. If it doesn't, then I mean, it's not the end of the world. What can I sell? How much does a lamb chop sell for? Five gold? 50 experience and we get like two bites out of it? Yeah, no, probably better just to eat it. Um, I'll just sell like a level Don't sell the seeds I need those I can sell one extra onion though Just to get the room to buy the egg uh, da -da -da -da. Oh, they... Okay Oh I was so scared for a second I thought it didn't actually sell eggs Okay Give you 10 of those And then Valentinian commemorative Titanium gold Right How much is this one worth? One Aerial, Tontinia. Okay, so we're, we're going to have to use one of these. You know what? There's not very many recipes that use this. The Valentinian. So screw it. I'm just going to use that to pay for it. It's fine. Pick up the egg and drop the egg. Does it look like it's going to hatch? It's shaking back and forth a little bit. It's moving. It's not doing anything though. Can I can I pick it up? I can. Okay. Shit. <laughs> Looks like you're right, Valkyrie. It doesn't look like it's gonna it doesn't look like it's gonna grow up here. Fine, screw it. We'll go back to a another area again. This is the last trip out. If it ends up not actually being chicken, I give up. <laughs> I'm gonna try it here too. I doubt it'll work here since it didn't work over there. But don't drop it. Feed it seeds to raise a chicken. Oh, no, I'm clicking on it, not dropping it. Yeah, like I was clicking X on it, and it was throwing it down like it does whenever you're in a level, level, but uh, not actually growing anything, obviously, so. Not working, but that's fine. Yeah, that's what I was doing. Every time I quote unquote used it, it was just throwing it down like that, though. And then, uh,. Still letting me pick it back up, thankfully. But obviously not growing into a chicken either. Oh, dude, I forgot all about these froggy bros. It's been so long since we played through, like, this part of the game. Uh, hi. Do you want to, like, stop running? Please and thank you. Did you drop anything cool? Uh, a coin. I mean, I would gladly take the aerial coins. There we go. Yeah, now it's now it's like shaking back and forth a lot more. All right, drop that though. Ooh, oh, dude, we got all kinds of coins. We got a map. Hey, and more seeds. Cool. So we didn't even end up having to use like all of our own seeds. Uh, drop the muggle seeds. How many uh seeds does it take? Oh shit. I didn't mean to start trying to grow that. <laughs> I didn't drop it. I used it. Son of a bitch. That's fine. We have extra seeds. Uh, da -da -da -da. Somewhere in here. Not the maple. I like maple. Mulberry? Yeah, I don't care. Drop the mulberry. There we go. Eat it. Now with three more, I think you said it, uh, it lays another egg. But I don't think we have that many more seeds except for my maple stuff. And I kind of want to keep those, right? There's one mulberry. There's that one. But that one's also used for cooking. And then those two. I mean, I guess we can make an omelet if we did. But nah, it's fine. I'm just going to murder the chicken. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mr. Chicken. Don't hate me. I just, I need your food. <laughs> your food that looks suspiciously like lamb chop, by the way. I don't, <laughs> I don't know why chicken and lamb look exactly the same. But, you know, it's fine, right? 
plus one. Oh, it only takes one seed to get them to lay an egg? Well, shit. Too late now. <laughs> I'm already gone. So, <laughs> oops. I think the, the delay might be a little bit uh, high between us there. Yeah, I totally could have dropped one or two seeds just to get an extra egg for cooking. But, oh well. We can also just buy eggs if we need to. It's not the end of the world. If it legs eggs, it's not a Mr. Chicken. I mean, you're probably right. Like, but I don't know. This isn't, uh, I don't believe this is our universe here. Maybe Mr. Chickens lay eggs there. <laughs> <laughs> My default is just, uh, I, I, you know, mister. <laughs> I, I call my girlfriend mister every once in a while. <laughs> uh, and, uh, I'm pretty sure she's not a mister. I mean, I could, I could have been misgendering her all these years and just not realizing it, but, uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure she identifies as a, as a not mister. <laughs> I was saying how sometimes I'll even call you mister. And I was saying I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure you don't identify as a mister. So, like, <laughs> I just, I have a habit of calling things mister sometimes. Like chickens that lay eggs. That looks pretty good. Doesn't look as amazing as the chocolate thing we made not too long ago, but. Oh, yeah, you are Mr. Noodle on here. That's right. 8,300 experience, though. Is that two levels? Yeah, 28, dude. Hell yeah. All right, now is there just anything else we can make? I don't really care what. I just want to use as much of our stuff as possible. Doesn't look like it. Okay, we'll go check the chocolate place. The... We will buy a, uh, a chocolate real quick, though. I guess we'll buy an egg, too chocolate and an egg or like a chocolate pod and an egg no I'm not gonna buy the egg just because I don't want to keep watching these loading screens honestly like <laughs> I want to get into the fighting again I don't care about your advice let me buy stuff uh, da -da -da -da. milk could come in handy since we're already in here pure cacao what do we got, money-wise? Five of those, and then one Valentinian gold piece? Yeah. Nah, I don't think we're gonna buy the milk either, actually. Just, I don't wanna use more of that currency, just in case it does roll over to the next character. The consensus, consensus seems to be probably not, but still, I don't wanna risk it. Don't want to risk it. I don't know why. I guess just because it rhymes, but now I kind of want Trisket. I'm not even, like, a big fan of Triscuits, but... Was Risk It for a Triscuit ever a thing? It's like, that should totally be a tagline in a commercial or something if it's not already. So we can make that, but is there anything better we can make? Milk and egg gives, well, I mean, hardly any more experience. And that's, that's literally it. Just the praline de chocolat. I will take it, though. I think that'll be enough to get us up to 29, too. The new character does start with zero money. Okay. Oh, and ginger. So is that what that thing's supposed to be? The, the seeds? Some sort of ginger thing? What's the point of takeout? Does it re recover any HP? I mean, I guess if it helps us level up, then it'll recover HP that way. Which means it'll probably be best to wait to use it. In that case. Where is it? Is it this? Yeah. Oh, and it just recovers 500 HP too. And 700 experience, so it must be two bites. So that's a thousand HP. Holy crap, dude. Okay, that's I'm actually kind of glad we made that now. That's pretty good. Oh, dude, we got a cookie too? 
and a ginger cookie. Dude, <laughs> that also recovers 300 HP. Holy shit. Okay. I like it. I'm into it. Let's go. Do we have any carrots left or no? We do not. Hopefully, we either don't need to make any more healing potions or uh, or there'll be some carrots whenever we get to the, the underworld. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why there'd be carrots growing in the underworld, but, you know, Hades gets hungry too, I guess. I was told to buy something from you. Will you sell it to me? The the shine. Sell me some shine, please. Uh, I guess just one. There's no point in using any more than that. And then one more Valentinian gold. There you go, Mr. Puka. Thank you for the shine, and I am on my way. I'm going to save, because after doing all that shit we did, I don't want to risk something happening and me having to redo all of that. So, <laughs> I'm actually going to save real quick, because that took a while, man. Between going back and forth, getting the, uh, between the different bakeries, the, the restaurants, I guess they would be called, and then going to the levels, all that shit. Mr. Noodle with another five bit cheer. Thank you, love. I appreciate all the kindness today, even though I can't help but notice you used sad Isaac again. <laughs> I feel like that's a subtle dig. Story time. <laughs> Your break's almost over, so you thought you would send five more? Well, I appreciate it, and I hope the rest of your day at work goes pretty quick, too, love. <laughs> I'm going to ask my dad. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> You've been annoyingly busy today? I'm sorry. We were pretty slow at, uh, at my work yesterday, but... That was yesterday, I suppose. お前の話を伝え聞いた。やり一つで単身敵人に乗り込み、あの小賢しい小娘から指輪を取り戻したと。コルドロンを操る力がこちらにあるなら、奴らの思うようにはいく前に。お前ほど素晴らしい娘はおらぬ。その指輪のごとく価値がある。さあ、勝利の宝を王に与えておくれ。これは私の大切な人との絆。Yeah, I mean you're being nice now, but you were kind of a dick to us for a long time. Seems like you're only being nice because you want something from me. I'm just saying. 何を叩いてたことを申しておる。Fuck off, Dad. <laughs> Bye, love. Have fun if you can. Damn, bad time she sticks up for herself too. Tell that bitch no. My ring. Honestly, like, how did uh, Odin figure out the way there, too? Like, like, we can only figure out the way from him. He had to figure out the way from someone, right? Hope you have a calmer shift and an only nice customer slash guest, whatever applies to you. Customers, we both do uh, retail full time. Well, I do full-time. She does part-time, but yeah. We both work retail. 
It's not a glamorous job, but it pays the bills. <laughs> Find and rescue Oswald from the netherworld. Hi there. Oh. You're not trying to kill me. You are, though. Weird skeleton-looking bros. Not exactly what uh, I was expecting. But I'll take it. Why is it still giving us money if we can't really use it at this point? I mean, I guess we could always, like, return back to the to the home, to the base, and use shit there. Holy hell, now I wish I had an egg. Alchemy Mix S? What's this one? Oh, that's Shine. That makes sense. Uh, Zero and Cubsbane. I'm assuming there's probably going to be a lot of Cubsbane around here, too. Grape Seed, Naple Seed. I will take Naple. And... Naple, and then grape, and grape, and then, nope, that's all we got room for. Okay. Can we make more shine? Do we have Cubsbane? I think we do. We do. Do we have a level zero thing? We have a level one thing. No, there's a level zero. We'll make some more shine. I don't imagine we'll need more than two pots of it. I wish, like, two potions of the same type would stack on top of each other. That'd be very handy. You feel for you? Worked in hotel slash restaurant for years? Yeah. We've never worked a proper restaurant, but we both did fast food for a little while. And then, uh, retail. I miss working, like, a, an office job. I was a, uh... A computer programmer for about a year. That's what I went to college for. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> I wish, I wish I could still do that, but unless I decide to move, it's not really possible. Maybe something like online, but yeah, whatever, it's fine. My retail job's not the worst in the world, and it pays pretty decent, so no use complaining. The only part that really sucks about it is, one, it can be boring sometimes, and two, the shitty-ass customers. That's literally it. Nothing else about it is, like, bad, honestly. There we go. These dudes are like carrying torches. Why can't I see? <laughs> it's that magic darkness, man. Oh, tentacles. That's fun. Who doesn't like a good tentacle? You know what I mean? <laughs> I imagine the tentacles aren't going to be too nice. Uh, Real quick, open up the map, please, and thank you. Why, why can't I open the map? Okay, well... I was wanting to see what level this area was to see if it was worth planting a seed. I'm going to just go for it and hope for the best, I guess. Oh, that was a mulberry seed anyways. It hardly requires any shit. That's fine, then. I, I meant to plant a naple, but <laughs> I must have grabbed the wrong one. Mulberry and Mulberry. Might be worth, like, mixing some of those up. Try to get a level 9 one. Brewing. Bad grapes. Weird, but okay. We'll eat those. Grape seed, material, bad grapes. Do I have any level 0? Can we make up a level 9? Well, we have a level 1. So we can mix that up with a bunch of these seeds that we have and shit. Could also mix it with the Mulberry to get it straight to level 6. Let's see how many seeds we have first. The Naples I kind of want to keep. Grapes are pretty decent. They do have high experience points. So see if we have anything else first. Um, I thought we had another mulberry seed. I don't know. Whatever. Fuck it. Mix it with the grape. Mix it with the mulberry maybe. That'll take it to seven. And then there were a couple seeds on the ground if I remember correctly, right? Well, bad grapes, but that's not... Mal oh, the actual mulberry. Well, there was a grape seed, but... <laughs> Too late now. What happens if I mix you with that? That takes it up to 12. Do, 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 do. Okay, mix it with the grape seed. Oh, spoiled food makes a healing potion? Really? Uh, Okay, well... I'll, I'll wait until I get that up to, like, 90. Because I'm going to mix the 9 with the 0. Okay, there's two maple seeds there. No seeds here. 
No seeds here. Two naple seeds there. Okay, so I gotta I gotta mix it with a naple seed. I mean I could have dropped something and then picked the grape seed off the ground and did it that way too, I guess, but like meh. It's called being lazy. <laughs> Alright. So we mix the level 9 with the level 10. That takes us straight to 90. Dope. And then that's going to release a ton of Phozon. So we should probably plant a couple Naples first. Naple, Naple. And then pick up the level 90. And then mix the 90 with, you said, Spoiled Fruit. Uh, that doesn't work. <laughs> uh, shoot. <laughs> nope. Not in, maybe that's a uh, remake thing only or something. Because that's just increasing it by five, the same as uh, mixing it with regular fruit would do. Or does it have to be like an actual level zero? Uh, shoot. Do I have a carrot? I don't think I have a carrot to make the healing potion with either. Uh, bu bu I mean, sorry. Oh, no, no worries, man. It's fine. See, that's a cooling one. I don't think we need the cooling one. It's fine. We'll, uh, we'll mix it. We probably don't need more of the light the way potions, but we'll just use it with that. It's not like it makes the potion any stronger. I just wanted the, uh, the Phozons anyways. There we go. Those are both fully grown now. So suck up the extra. And wait for these to grow. Maybe another level? Maybe. Although I don't think you can make a potion until... Uh... Why aren't these growing? Uh, game? Did they not suck up enough? Everything was bouncing off of them, so I thought maybe they were grown enough. Shoot. We might have both just made a mistake. <laughs> I mean, it's only a couple seeds. It's not the end of the world. But, okay, I have a level zero. Mixing that with that makes an antidote, which, I mean, maybe will come in handy. I don't have any higher level. It takes some time. Okay, so maybe it just takes more time. All right, we'll wait. We'll wait a little bit longer. I don't know, man. I don't even see the, the baby starting to sprout on it. What's this on the ground? Grape seed? Yeah, I'll pick that up. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's going to take more. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> um, all right, what else do we have? Let's go into our real menu. It'll be a lot easier to look through shit here. Let's get, let's get this stuff organized a little bit. We'll put all these shines next to each other. Put the, the, the food and stuff up here. Okay. Seeds. I guess seeds can go here, actually. That can go down here. Healing potion can go down here, too. Alright. Sort, sort. Uh, and then, I don't know, just sort for the hell of it. So what do we have? We have that. We have an onion. Onion can make uh, that flame potion, can it? What level does that need to be? Alchemy. Cures poison. Blizzard. Cool. Healing tonic. No, I want the napalm. Material level two. Okay, we can do that one. We'll just do that one real quick to get a little bit more. Maybe one of these trees will grow at least. So we can get a couple naples. Where's my level zero? There it is. Mix with... Uh, you're going to make it go up too high. All of you make it go up too high. Uh, just the grape seeds then. Grape seeds are still pretty decent, but I'd rather get these naples to grow if possible. And then mix the level two with the onion to get napalm. Yeah, it is still sucking it up. Son of a bitch. Okay, well, that was enough to grow 
one. <laughs> we grew, we grew one before it died, at least. Son of a bitch. I shouldn't have sucked all that up until, until they grew. That was, that was totally on me. Oh, well. You live and you learn, right? Next area. I'm assuming this is just going to be a Cubs band. Yeah, whatever. We'll take it. No reason not to. Until our inventory is completely fucking full again. Next area. See what the hell we're getting into. Should we just plant? Oh, it's a boss level. Yeah, I'm just going to plant. Surely the boss will drop enough to grow a Naple. And I think that's all we had seed-wise. We used the rest. Wait. Oh, no. Is it too late? <laughs> Did I already mess up? <laughs> Should I not have done that? <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Oh, that's right, because uh, if you don't grow it like, fast enough or whatever, it will die, huh? There is that. I don't know. I think it'll be okay. I think. I could be completely wrong, but... <laughs> uh, Why is he just, like, chilling? Oh. Hi. Oh, shit. We're poisoned. Okay. Well, you know what? It's a good thing that I made that... That, uh... Do, 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 do. That antidote that I didn't really feel like I needed, huh? Or did I make the antidote or did I just already have antidote? Maybe I just already had antidote. Uh, also, why can't I, like, move? Level 4 plus foiled food makes a healing potion? Yeah, but you still have to have the recipe, don't you? Or does that not a... Uh, is that not a thing? Am I just mistaken about that? I thought you had to have the recipe to be able to make anything. The lag is so bad, I know. <laughs> okay, we really need some power. Is he dead? He's dead. G fucking G. Now, where is my plant? <laughs> Give me my Naples. <laughs> Ghosts can only be defeated once they've materialized. I mean, that's good info, I guess, but... Okay, yeah, so that's something to note with Naple. It grows up, and then it, uh... And then it collects the stuff for the fruit. You have the recipe for healing potion? I do. I didn't know if it was, like, two different recipes, though. Or if it was, uh, just, like, one recipe. Hey, Rosimile, too. That's nice. So, yeah, I mean, I can, I can look at it. Text. Alchemy. Yeah, see, it doesn't say anything like that. You can take a look in the archive. Yeah, I got it. See, it just says a potion that recovers 200 HP, ingredients, material zero, and carrot. It doesn't say anything about being able to use the, the fruit. Zero timer, extra phosons, warmer, toxin, shine, painkiller. Oh, I forgot about painkiller. Material two and cubsbane. That's actually one that I would legit like to make if we, uh, if we have any material life left. So that's just take less damage. I mean, that's that's pretty fucking good. All right, let's eat some of the shit that we got. Uh, lamb chop first. No, we're so close to a level. Let's eat some of the stuff that recovers a bunch of or gives a bunch of experience. Hey, Rue, welcome back. You didn't miss anything, honestly. We spent a lot of time making recipes and stuff. Man, the praline is so good, but whatever. I'm going to eat it again to level up. And then, do we have any level zero material, or are we out? I think we're out. Yes, we are. Okay. But I will go ahead and swap the food around like that. There we go. All right, next area. We're flying blind again, so let's just go, I guess, this way. I hear, like, all the things squeaking, but I can't. I don't have any inventory space, so I don't even see the point in picking it up. Oh, this is a shop. Dope. Okay. Shops are nice. I like shops. Hello? Oh, hi there. You look kind of creepy. Like a plant fish? <laughs> I would not give away any of my shit. Oh, you have money. Never mind. Uh, hey, here's our shit. Is there anything you would like? 
seeds, cacao, regular material, detox charm. The detox charm would kind of be nice, but we we broke, boys. Uh, da, da, da. could sell the bad grapes, but for only three gold, like not worth it, honestly. I don't think it's worth selling like anything, man. If I had like stems or or something like that, maybe, but otherwise, nah, not worth it. Just continue next. Oh shit, there is three minutes until the next ad break. I am glad I looked over. Time fucking flies, man, whenever <laughs> whenever I get into a game. Like I honestly had no clue it was that uh that close. So I'm glad I looked over when I did. We are going to uh switch over to the break scene real quick. Sorry to take a break right after you came back, Rue. Uh but we're just gonna run a quick ad. We'll be back in like three minutes, y'all. PS4 games on there, which is pretty nice. Definitely something I would suggest. And heck yeah, I always would do one playthrough, then go to game FAQs, try to do better, or find the secret stuff. Yeah, that's that's what I use it for, man. Get all the secrets, get the 100% playthrough going or whatever. Back when I had time to, <laughs> to do that sort of thing, really. Nowadays, I feel like I hardly ever get to 100% uh, games. I used to be a bit of an achievement hunter and whatnot, right? I, I used to love getting achievements and working towards achievements and all that, but these days I feel like I don't really have the time for it anymore. This is a long loading screen. Holy crap. Like, Oblivion has so many secret little things. There's an awesome sword to be found in the castle DLC, hidden wall and all. Yeah, man. That's uh, all the Bethesda games, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, I know. Um, yeah, I feel like all the Bethesda games have a bunch of secrets and fun little Easter eggs and crap like that that you can find. Shoot me, not the box, you idiots. I don't really care about, like, me taking hits at this part, but if the box takes too many hits from the arrows, the box will actually get destroyed, and it's very annoying. You don't have to, like, restart or anything, thankfully, the, the whole game, but you do have to go back to... The beginning there yeah see like that and then you have to go back to the beginning here and get another box and it's just like man <laughs> just just don't break my box <laughs> it's gonna break it's gonna break before i even get it over there ugh these guys suck i always want to do like full charges on it when i feel like really i should just be pushing it because i get a little impatient but i feel like they shoot it less if you're just pushing around nate says same here love achievements can't hunt as much anymore but you still look through and pick up a couple as a goal yeah 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 i mean that's that's exactly how i am too like every now and then i'll look for some achievements or whatever to do or in my favorite games maybe i'll try to complete it or whatever but for the most part i just i don't really worry about them anymore uh, i thought i could hit that ahead of them but they still shot it anyways. Oh, my lord. This is my least favorite part of the game, no joke. Like, <laughs> getting this stupid box without them just destroying it. And, like, they don't really aim for the box or anything like that. It's just because the, the way they aim for you, and since they, they shoot... Like, staggered a little bit. Like, right there, took a hit. Once you get close enough, it's not as big of a worry. Ah, oh, really? Bruh? <laughs> right after I said they don't aim for the box, it looked like those dudes aimed for the freaking box. Love achievements, can't have as much anymore. Oh, yeah, yeah, I read that one already. Yeah, I don't think I've ever platinumed the game, though, to be honest. Or, uh... I don't know what they call it on Xbox, but 100% of the game, I guess, achievement-wise. Except for Jack and Daxter, which is something I've talked about before. And with that game, it's not even really that I was trying to. It just, uh, it just happened because it was such a good game and they didn't require... Hello! I'm back. Uh, from outer space. I don't know the rest of that song at all. Anyways! <laughs> Let's continue, shall we? Get back into it, man. 
I'm glad we're going to be able to finish up Gwendolyn's story today. And then probably at least see the next character. Like who the next character is going to be. Get a feel for what we're doing with them. All right, we have a bunch of the shine stuff because we ended up making one or two after we bought one. So where... There it is. Let's drink it. Dink it and sink it as uh, the Mythical Morning podcast would say. Or not podcast, just Mythical Morning crew, I think. Whatever. What are the point of the tentacles? I'm assuming the tentacles do do damage. Like if you touch them or get too close to them, but they die in like one hit. Oh my lord, the lag is so bad, man. <laughs> oh. If I ever decide to replay this game, I am definitely going to be doing it on the uh, the updated... What's it called? Leaf, Leaf Razor something? I forget the name of it. I've seen it before. Because like every time I type in Odin Sphere, that one comes up. The remake, yeah, whichever one it's called. If I ever play this, one, this game again, it's definitely going to be the remake. Because holy hell. Not only, you know, because the extra quality of life stuff should be really nice... But also, just I, mean, I imagine the, the lag won't be nearly as bad. I don't even think we have any seeds. But I wanted to get that. Uh, so I'm not worried about sucking up all the stuff. Is what I was saying. It is much easier too, really. If this game is surprisingly difficult. I think if I was playing it on my own, I could probably dump it, jump it up to hard and be okay. But like it would take such a long time. Of like grinding out the bosses and just grinding in general and whatnot to get to a place to where I'm not dying constantly. Overripe mulberry? Wait, am I full? I must be full. That's fine. We'll uh, we'll eat something. We have got the map. That's nice. I do like a good map. Okay, we have like multiple bad fruits. So even if the uh, bad fruit recipe does end up working, we should still be okay eating some of the the bad stuff that we got here. Right, like that bad grape. We might as well go ahead and eat the mulberry. Because it's not like I'm going to take the time to go back to the to the main town. So we'll take that. And then, was that everything? I think so. Map time. Okay, so that's a hard encounter. And that leads to the actual boss. So should we still take the time to, to do all this other stuff? Since this is like the end of the game, is there really any point in doing it? I don't think there is, man. I think we just go to the boss, right? Because, like, we could we could get that gold piece, go to the shop, etc. But, like... But what's the point? Because <laughs> if we're going to have to... Trust me, this fight will be hard. I mean, that's fine. But, like, what is this going to do to us? If we do these other areas, all it's going to do for us is use up a lot of our items. So I, I don't think there's any point. I think we're I think we're better off just going to the end here. You always heard yeah, I have some antidotes. Not a whole lot, but I have some. You always heard the US version was bad, but this is your first time seeing it. They fixed some things in the EU version. Lucky. <laughs> That's the one the one benefit to living in an area that usually gets games after everyone else is they have time to uh, fix some of the bugs and things. But I mean, a lot of times, uh, like you have translation problems and stuff like that though. So I don't, I don't really know if that one benefit outweighs the, the bad, but. Ooh. Oh, these guys are like underground? They are, they're like underground fish. I mean, I guess like they don't have to conform to the rules of the world of the living here, but. Oh, and then they turn into, like, mini crocodile bros? What was that? I don't like you. <laughs> I don't like your weird tentacle razor arms <laughs> that you wave around at us. You learned a new cypher skill? What'd we get? Foes on release. Releases a small number of stored foes... Hey, that's pretty cool if we ever need to, like, grow something. I kind of wish we would have got that ability a little bit sooner instead of, like, not until the end of the game. But, uh, oh well. Nothing we can do about it now. Speaking of Fozons, we should probably go ahead and suck these up before they all disappear. 
I mean, it's gonna cost us some time, but like... You usually get the English slash Japanese dub and just get German subs. So, I mean, if, you are, if you're a fan of subs, I guess that's not too bad. But like, I know a couple people, I don't understand it myself, but I know a couple people that really dislike subs for some reason. I'm a subtitle guy. Like, anytime I watch foreign media, I prefer to have subtitles. Um, and, uh, like, yeah. Because, <laughs> like, my, my thing is, if it was made originally in another language, then it's probably better in that language, right? Well, yeah, for you, I guess, since you understand English pretty well. Like, yeah, why would you use the dubs? It always costs time. True, true, true. Yeah. Oh, God, we're dizzy. Yeah, I didn't know you guys got uh, a bunch of sub games like that, to be honest. That's pretty neat, though. What about, well, I mean, like, text and things like that, though, they would have to translate, too, which sometimes there's bad, uh... There's bad, uh... Oh, shit, we died. Fuck. <laughs> Turns out I need to pay a little bit more attention to the fighting and a little less attention to the chat. Uh, at least whenever we're that close to death. <laughs> um, but anyways, I guess they still would have to translate the text, which can be fucked up. Probably not too bad most of the time, I would hope, but I don't know. I've seen some bit, pretty bad uh, translations, especially in older games. I've seen some pretty rough translations over here in America. So I imagine it's the same for, for the various European countries. Do I have any seeds at all? No, okay. I figured with as many uh, bosons or as there is being released here, it'd probably be a pretty decent time to uh, use some seeds, to grow some seeds, but I guess it doesn't really matter. I wonder why they don't give you that Fozon uh, releasing ability until so late. Like, it doesn't really help you in combat, right? So I just don't see why they make you wait until, like, the end. Also, hi, Nate. Welcome back. <laughs> I'm sure you've, like, probably been here the whole time, but I haven't heard from you in quite a while. In stream. There's some pretty decent German voice actors you really like. Uh, yeah, I mean, it depends on the show for me, you know? Like, uh, the shows that I watched as a kid, especially, I, I still like to watch in, in dub instead of in sub. Like, uh, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, stuff like that. And Full Metal Alchemist, since it's, uh, set in, like, a very European, Germanic sort of setting, I think that one just feels more natural, uh, to me being in English than it does being in, uh, in Japanese. So, for me, it, it depends, but... Generally speaking, though, I prefer things like anime to be in in their original language. Also, holy fuck this lag, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> it is so bad. Is my PlayStation, like, dying? Is it overheating? Do I, need to, do I need to go rescue you? Get an ice pack or something for you real quick there, bud? Oh my lord. These things suck so bad. I hate them. Freaking hate them. Please die. Please die. Die. <laughs> Was that it? Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> I was so done with them, dude. It wouldn't have been so bad if it wasn't for the lag, but my lord. That was rough in spots. The translation is pretty good most of the time because we Germans like to translate as close to the source as possible. But dubs from the US often change some things. That Yes, yes they do. A lot of uh, a lot of dubs here in America, they they change some stuff usually because of censoring reasons. Like uh, in Japan, for instance, having like sexually sexual related things is pretty normal, even in children's show having some like sexual jokes. But over here in America, that's not normal for uh, kids programs, so they take out like that sort of stuff all the time, and it's it's annoying. It's annoying as hell. 
Cough for kids cough? Yes. <laughs> Very much so. <laughs> four kids was terrible at that sort of thing. I mean, from what I've watched um, online, the uh, like the version of Yu-Gi-Oh that we got is so different from what they got over in Japan that it's like actually terrible. Like, <laughs> it's amazing how much they changed it. Like, holy hell, dude. Oh, you were actually gone, gone. Hot spot was being goofy. That sucks, man. Are you home now? You done door dashing for the day, or uh, you just get to a spot where your where your stuff's actually working? Season zero of Yu-Gi-Oh. What was season zero? Do you just mean like the first season, or or is there like a season of it that I that I never saw as a child? Oh, we don't have to use uh the the shine bright like a diamond stuff here. Before it existed. Yu-Gi-Oh is a good example. Yes. Yes. <laughs> That's why I picked that one. Because from what I've read, I did watch Yu-Gi-Oh back in the day. But I've never seen the original Japanese version though. So I don't know like how bad it is comparatively. Other than uh, the examples that I saw on YouTube. Because I remember watching a YouTube series uh, where like that was their thing. Was they explain like the differences between... Japanese and uh, the American version of shows and stuff like that. Oh my lord. Dude, why aren't these fish guys dying? I know, like, these things need to be non-ghost mode, but, like, why are the fish dudes completely invulnerable right now? Uh, just do another cyclone, I don't know. Oh, you call it season zero because the first season was so off from what we saw as a child? Fair, honestly, yeah. <laughs> I guess the, the fish dudes have, uh, like, a ghost mode, too. And they can hit us, but we can't hit them. That's trash. They're in ghost mode. Yeah, I see that now. Took me a minute, but I, I, I figured it out. I clone them up. That's not going to hit anybody. Everyone's in ghost mode. Freaking ghosts. <laughs> uh, foes on. No, not foes on release, you dumbass. <laughs> that is not what I wanted to do at all. Foes on burst. Oh, they actually call it season zero? Really? I didn't know that. Yeah, no, I didn't know that at all. That had to be like a an after the fact sort of deal, though. Like, there's no way they called it season zero from the get go. You read the manga? I want to read the manga. I want to get back into studying Japanese. I used to study Japanese. I, I have a couple books in Japanese, well, manga in Japanese, um, that I was reading through at one point. But, like, I don't know. It's just finding the time to keep studying it is rough, man. Throw a shine on them? I can't throw things. Or does, like, using shine just for myself, does that also make them visible? Posture check. Oh, actually using that as a uh, excuse to stretch a little bit too. <laughs> Thank you, real. Posture check complete. And hydrate. Oh, you're taking care of me. You're too kind. I started to shake my water bottle. I'm glad I double checked the lid before I did that. <laughs> I was just flung water all over all of my equipment. That would have been good. Today I'm drinking water with a little bit of a pineapple fruit squeezy, we call them. Knock off Mio's. They're good and they're cheap, so... Since I don't drink sugar, like... Oh, okay. Thank you for the drink as well, Rue. I appreciate you. You got confused? That is a remake thing? Okay, okay. I thought so, because yeah, there's no way to uh, no way to throw potions in this one outside of napalm. You can throw the napalm, but that's like the only way to use it. Uh, let's eat our ginger cookie, man. That'll heal us up a bit. You stupid fish! <laughs> I wonder if like using the 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 shine would make them visible though. Like if we just use it on ourselves. Oh, okay. It does work. That's a really good tip, man. Okay. Yeah, that, that instantly makes them attackable. 
That's a good tip right there. Use the absorb near him. I like it. How late you door dashing tonight, Nate? If you're uh, still available. What do we get? A Rosimile. Okay. And an overripe mulberry. We need a little bit of health anyway, so we might as well eat our overripe mulberry. Take our 70 experience points. And tiny bit of HP. Um, what else? We got Naples. A withered Naples. Sure. Fuck it. Eat the withered Naples. And then do we just down all our food and try to... Because the next is the boss after this, right? Yeah. So I think we just down all of our food until we get to the next level at least. And then save the healing potions for the boss fight. Let's do it. It's going to take a fair bit. I don't actually know if we're going to have enough to be able to go to the next level. Time to get our man back. Wait, what were these? Rosimile? Both are Rosimiles. So if we have any other seeds that can actually like grow food, we could uh, grow something. But I think we we done got rid of all of them. I don't think we're going to have enough food for the uh, to get up to the next level. Maybe we do just stop there then. So we can always, it'll take a long time, but we can always try to run away and heal if need be. Because we ate like two Naples basically and we just barely got to halfway. We only have one, a little over one Naples left. So yeah, fuck it. Never mind. I take it back. We're not eating all our food. Do we save first? Yeah, we'll save first. Saving doesn't take too long. We're going to do a quick save. Just in case we find out, like, that we're fucked fucked. Um, we can reload the save and then, like, go grind or something. But hopefully we won't need to do any of that. Beware of the axe and her spider ass. Uh, is it at least, like, a nice ass? Or, like... <laughs> uh, the first time when I first read that out of the corner of my eye, I thought you said the axe on her spider ass. I was very confused. <laughs> I was like, she has a axe on her ass and her scythe too. She's got some big old thingies, huh? <laughs> big old biddies. Noodle's not here, so it's okay. I can just say big old mommy milkers. Like, <laughs> she hates when I say that, though. She gets so mad about it. She hates it. I think it's hilarious. Oswald, my love. Hmm. Ain't gonna serve you for long when I kill your ass. Why are you so obsessed with him, dude? Big old what now? <laughs> I don't I don't know if you have a version of that phrase in uh, German. But uh, it's a relatively new thing over here in uh, USA and America is uh, big mommy milkers. <laughs> it's, a, it's a thing that people like to say now. <laughs> big mommy milkers. There's been a big uh, resurgence in, uh, in uh, MILF love mom love over here in America <laughs> people people got a thing for milfs all of a sudden man including their mommy milkers <laughs> uh, probably till 10 Nate when'd you start like pretty early or you doing a you doing a full day a full shift milf is mom I'd like to fuck <laughs> why why not, man? <laughs> All right. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to use item. I want to use... Are you susceptible to fire at all? 
Uh. Oh, shit. <laughs> but not when it gets shot back in my face. <laughs> I think that might have done something. Yeah, that did some damage. That wasn't bad. You're more of a dope person yourself. Fair, fair. To each their own. No hate here. Dude, MILF was blocked? Nah. MILF is allowed through. That's fine. MILFs are allowed in this stream. Mil MILFs are welcome. <laughs> Unfortunately, you know what a MILF is? Why is that unfortunate, man? You're not, you're not into the, the whole MILF thing? And DILFs. DILFs are welcome too, dude. All are welcome here. God, the lag is so bad. Holy hell. Oh my lord, dude. Do we have any more napalm? We have the fire spirits. Let's use that. Oh my lord. There's so much lag. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Damn it is, though. Like, look at that, man. Even the menu's, like, lagging out. Okay. It's starting to pick up a little bit. Yeah, that's fine. You can say Dilf and Hot Old Man. At least my friends and I. How do you how how do you pronounce that? I forget. It's been a long time since I've uh, studied any German. Something Altermann. Hot old man. Yeah, that's that's uh that's basically what Dilf means. Yep. <laughs> All right, we don't need that. I want napalm. Are we out of napalm? I thought we had two uses. Oh, you know what? We got smacked once when we were trying to use it. That probably got rid of one of our uses, huh? That's lame. We have an onion. We could probably make some, but I don't know. I think we're I think we're going to be okay. I think we got this, honestly. The whole MILF thing just rubs you the wrong way. Uh, usually the MILFs rub you the right way. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Holy hell. What's that? Uh, bruh, <laughs> we just got fucked. Okay, so was there any way to like see that coming? Was there some way we could have uh, we could have avoided that <laughs> stream? Don't yell at me. <laughs> uh. I didn't, I didn't see it like telegraphed. I'm sure it was telegraphed and I just wasn't paying good enough attention though. All right. So we know, we know, we know that I'm an idiot. Um, <laughs> I have no idea what e uh, emote that is. Hype rage. <laughs> you will always yell. Oh no, I guess we must, we must have used the napalm earlier on someone. You saw the chance and you took it. I couldn't help it. I had to. I had no choice. <laughs> oh god. So much lag. The lag is killing me, bro. Alright, let's uh grab the regen, get that going for us real quick. And then Um get the overload on. And then let's get in there and try to attack. Okay, I, for a second I was thinking she was invulnerable to attacks. I was, I was about to be scared there for a minute, man. Oh my lord, the lag is so bad. <laughs> I can't even tell like what the hell's going on right now. Okay. Uh, foes on burst. Get rid of these fish dudes. Do some damage on her too. Okay, she just disappeared. Oh no, she's back. She's back. Okay. She didn't stay gone for long. Also, I just realized we are regaining HP when we're damaging her. I, oh, no. We popped the regen potion. That's why. Butterfly spotted. I don't have time for this butterfly, dude. Okay. Uh, Cyclone to get rid of some of this shit on the ground. And then, you know what? Actually, I am going to absorb some stuff just so we can get some magic back. And then foes on burst to get rid of all this random shit again, I guess. We're actually doing pretty decent as far as, like, damaging her goes, though. As long as we don't 
die to that random ass, uh, whoa, ass. Oh, she's gonna, the thingy, she's throwing the thingy. Get, get, get through the thingy, please. <laughs> this is like stop motion. I know, it's so bad, dude. Oh my lord. I can't, I can't, I can't deal. <laughs> I can't, like, do anything. It's alright, the slow motion, just the slow motion makes it easier to react to what's going on, that's all. Boson burst. There's too many things on the screen. Get rid of some of them. Please. Oh god. Oh, that was almost really bad. Okay. Uh, healing potions real quick, please, and thank you. Yeah, throw the navel core at her, whatever. <laughs> You think you could play the classic mode on PS2 or 3 and it would count? <laughs> I don't have the game, though, so I couldn't even if, uh... I couldn't anyways, you know? Lag. So much lag, dude. It's weird. Like, it got worse the farther into the game we got. And it... I mean, I guess there are technically more enemies on the screen now. But it doesn't seem like that much more enemies. Is she healing? She's healing. I didn't realize she was healing. Okay, yeah. So we need to watch for whenever she puts her her shit out like that. Because that means she's, she's going to heal. Okay, we don't have any magic. We just got to beat her down. Oh my lord, I really wish we had some magic right now. Is she healing again? She is. Fuck you, dude. I really need some magic. Oh god, our cypher level went up. That's good. Okay, these dudes don't do a whole lot of damage at least, so just fuck them. I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing. Go ahead, keep summoning stuff. That's fine, whatever, I don't care. I just need some cypher, please. Okay. Foes on burst. Get rid of all this shit on the screen. As we, we wait five years for it to load. <laughs> okay. Give me, give me to level two, please, and thank you. Oh, God. Level two, level two, level two. Please? Please? I, I wanted to do the overload so I could do some actual fucking damage to her. While she was doing that whole healing bullshit. Oh, my God. All right. Come on, I know there's Fozons on the screen now. Give them to me. Give them to me. Thank you. Okay. Overload. Smacker. Please. Fucking. Okay, yep. Yeah, we dodged it. Let's go. Dude, we got this. We fucking got this. Just smack the shit out of her. Don't fucking stop. Come on, she's so close. Oh, God, we're going to have to heal, though. She's so close. No, just kill her. 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 She's dead. She's dead. I'm I'm eating or I'm drinking a potion anyways, just in case. There's like a phase two, but I think she's dead. I think we did it. That wasn't that bad. Holy hell. <laughs> Fuck that lady, dude. And her big mommy milkers. <laughs> Well played. Yeah, Gwendolyn, you bitch. <laughs> you have fucked everything up. Unless we become the queen of death now. Actually, that's a good thing, really? Why is, why is it a good thing? Is it something like story-wise or just like a personal thing?
Hey, Dad. Thanks, man. You actually did something nice for us for once. <laughs> Oh, I thought they meant that, like... Oh, okay. When she was talking about it, I thought she meant there was no way to ever, like, enter the land of the dead. Like, if you died on, on Earth or whatever this world's called, your spirit would just, like, float around the world forever or some shit. Like, never be able to, you know, rest in peace. You know that Odette is supposed to be hell, and hell is half alive, half dead, but was it necessary to give her boobs? No. No, it wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't at all. But they did anyways. <laughs> I mean, we also did kind of promise it to him, though, if he did this for us, so like... Hmm. I mean, I don't think our dad deserves the ring at all. But, like, yeah, we did kind of promise, dude. With all the bullshit he's pulled over the years, though, yeah, probably, like, fair. <laughs> he don't care, he's a dick. あ。お父様。ええ、黙れ。この不注文の目、もう何も言うでない。ひ、ひかんでしょだすラブ。わけんづかい。娘はお主の手に委ねよう。Her father tricked her, manipulated her, and neglected her. Only fair that she keeps the ring. Yeah, that's what I said. Like, he definitely doesn't deserve it. Like, <laughs> and the cheese is real? Yeah, true. <laughs> that's fine, though. Every video game needs a little bit of cheese, right? Gotta get in your feels sometimes. さまよう俺の前を不意に照らした輝く星だ君に会うまでこの胸の内は映るだっただが今は違う俺は喜びと恐れを知った君という光に触れる喜びと命より大事な輝きが目の前から消えてしまう my love will shine like the stars forever. Oh, I'm gonna start tearing up, guys. <laughs> How cute. Uh, yes, of course. So who's the next character? Cornelius. Perfect timing, Root. <laughs> I know because of the lag, you couldn't have even heard me say that yet. The message was literally popping up as I was asking. <laughs> Cornelius. Have we met Cornelius yet? Or are they someone completely new? Completely different? Oh, we're back to the, the storybook area. Oh, it's another book on the ground now. That's cool. Okay, yeah, and the level in gold and everything does reset. Okay. Twitter was watching the whole time. <laughs> Twitter, you creep. <laughs> uh, I'm assuming Twitter, uh, the little bird, is going to follow between the different runs, the different characters. I'm assuming. I, I don't know that at all, but 
Just a feeling that I have. Who can say that tomorrow will be just like today? Souls have been known to vanish as easily as a lost coin. Nope. Oh, okay. Just like they never really explained the bird. So I thought maybe the bird was going like from person to person and that's how the stories were written or something. I don't know. Or are you saying nope to it's never someone we met? Yeah, because this doesn't look like someone we've ever met either. Find out in Oswald's. But a pretty good guess? Cool. Is that a euphemism for sex? So his oats while he is young. <laughs> That's definitely a euphemism for sex. <laughs> Well, aren't you the king? So, even if I was in love with a low-class commoner, wouldn't you have the power to not disown me? Like... Wait, so if this is the... If this is the Prince of the Puka, isn't that what it said? Are we gonna, like, get cursed and turn into those little bunny people or something? Something like getting experience before settling down? Yeah. That's what it sounded like to me. <laughs> I like that, though. I'm gonna have to use that sometime. Holy shit, you guessed perfectly on that? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of figured. Because, <laughs> I mean, it's called the Puka Prince, and the Puka are the little, uh, the little bunny people, so it only made sense. Okay, well, I didn't expect the, the curse to happen so quickly, though. <laughs> okay, well... I don't trust that court jester either. She's a cute little bunny, not a beast. Uh, I mean, maybe. Doesn't look exactly like the netherworld I know, but maybe you're just like netherworld adjacent. You're so used to Yuri Lowenthal as Cornelius? Is that like the, the voice actor in German? Cornelius? Well, yeah, why would I lie about it? Find out who he is a little later. Oh, yeah. Well, thank you for the warning. I'd rather not approach you if that's the case. <laughs> uh. 
your soul would tremble and your blood would freeze? Yeah. Oh, that's the English voice actor, okay. Responsibility to what? He's pretty ugly, trust us. I believe it, man. I mean, when you yourself say that your flesh is a home to maggots and filth or whatever, then, like, <laughs> I don't assume you're too pretty. Wait, <laughs> I mean, if it was a simple dream, I think you'd be able to wake yourself up, man. I've had some pretty realistic dreams in my life, but like, I don't know, it's pretty easy to wake up from them usually. <laughs> Prelude Act 2, Land of Despair and Misery. You thought the design was pretty cool? Odette was worse? I am curious to see what they'll look like. Ooh. Okay. Press down and square. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. And he, he can block by holding square. He has the same magical ability. And yeah, our, our stuff is empty now, though. Oh, man, we're doing, like, no damage again. I mean, it's fine for in the beginning of the game, though, I suppose. Like, Look at that uh, He-Man pose he's doing there. Waiting for a bolt of lightning to come down and lend us their power. Shine, so we're starting in the, the netherworld. Okay. Or at least it appears like we are. Next area. Let's keep going, man. Keep pushing forward. Oh. Well, that was quick. <laughs> Are we out of the netherworld already? Or is this just like a, a little bit of story sprinkled in? Shall speed toward you quicks the wind. Oh shit! It's her. Of course, it's her. What was her name again? Uh, Velvet. I think it was Velvet. I want to say that. Yep, he fell in love with Velvet. Can't blame him. <laughs> so wait, is Velvet really old or is this new Puka curse thing like is it relatively recent in history? Or is Velvet just like way older than I assumed she was? Cuz I assumed she was like late teens, early 20s. Princess with no kingdom and it is recent. Okay. Hi there. <laughs> I won't go away even if my flesh rots off. <laughs> Bruh, that, that sucks, honestly. I'm sorry for you. Find it for me? Uh, maybe. You look kind of creepy, though, lady. Okay, you're just gonna say the same thing again. I imagine both of you will. Uh, hi, fish dude. Is that all you're gonna say? I exited out too quick. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Uh, hi, another creepy lady. So is this our base of operations for the beginning of the game? Like, more boobs? Yeah, I, I noticed. I wasn't going to draw attention to it, but I noticed. <laughs> the creators of this game definitely like boobs. 
That's the one thing you don't like, all the boobs? Are you, I'm assuming you're a shopkeep. I have poison if you want. Do not have a blade to code it with. Uh, that's all right. I have a, a blade of, of sorts. Um, able to pick up items without having to kneel down. Speed belt, shine, power stone. I don't think any of this is really that useful to us. A luck stone wouldn't be bad, but honestly, you end up getting so many items that, like, I don't know what to do with them. So, I think we're just going to save our save our cash for now. Let's uh go into the menu, though. What do we have? We have a mulberry seed, a blank material, and a single shine. Okay. World map, let's go. And, okay, so it's the same map, the same potential locations, but I'm assuming the layout will be a little bit different on those other locations now. Like whenever we revisit them with this character or whatever. Hmm, hopefully we have enough time to finish this chapter. It's the first chapter, so I imagine it's not super long. I wouldn't hope too much. I'm kind of cursed myself. Keep walking, skeleton. Stop right there. <laughs> Boos just don't work that way, especially Odess. They have their own field of gravitation like planets or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh lord I mean you're very right <laughs> you are very very right but that's anime for you <laughs> uh, or just wait until the queen's killed and then it doesn't really matter does it <laughs> Do we, do we have that option? Can, can we just take people out of the land of the dead? Will that even, like, fix them? <laughs> Wouldn't you, like, keep the body that, that you currently have? Without light, you cannot see the ghost. That's, that seems like a, uh, something we should note. So without the shine potion, we may not be able to fight the ghosts at all in the dark areas. If I'm reading into that correctly. I like how they had him run across the screen for the loading screen. I don't remember them ever doing that with Gwendolyn. Come on, game. You got this. Load it up. I believe in you. There you go. Good job. Ask for permission from the queen to return to the land of the living. Very well. I shall do so as soon as I find out where said queen is. Hi there, guys. I'm glad you're much weaker now than you were last time I came across y'all. Uh, we didn't have any seeds, so just suck it all up. Take all that Cypher. Or Fozon. All them Fozons. Cypher is the magic itself. Fozons are the things. Ooh, dude. He's getting all kinds of coins. Mulberry seed. Zero material. A map, please and thank you. Another material. Mulberry seed and more coins. Dope. This dude's gonna be rich. Uh, what do we got? So we got a shop. What is the U potion? Holy hell. Okay, this is a pretty long level. Uh, we might not have time to get through this entire one. We're going to try, of course. I think we'll head down. I think we'll do a loop. Go down first. 
to the shop and then come back up and grab that. Which means we should go there first. We want to go this way. And then, yeah, work our way around. Okay, got it. Got our plan of attack. We know what we're doing. That's the important first step. Assuming that... Okay, that wasn't too bad. I was going to say, assuming the game ever loads. But <laughs> thankfully, it didn't take that long this time. Oh, no. Okay, we have three uses of shine. For some reason, I thought we only had one use of it. That's not too bad. I wonder what that pendant is. Because that, that boss fight had some sort of pendant as an unlock, it looked like. What kind of seed did we get? Not Cyclone, you dumbass. I want to see the seeds. We got Mulberry. Okay, so we could probably grow them. Mulberry don't take a whole lot. We might as well plan it. We, we need, like, experience and stuff. Got to remember that we, like, just started over. So all that stuff that we were taking for granted before, we can't really take for granted now. Like, Mulberry's not really being worthwhile outside of cooking. That's not true anymore. Oh no, not the not that. Mulberry seed. Drop that. Cypher level three already? Holy shit, dude. These things are dropping so much stuff. Okay, so he doesn't throw his sword, he just kind of like hits up high. I don't think that, like, really matters, but I guess it's it's something good to know. Where's this last enemy at? Hello? Enna bros? Where art thou? I like his uh, little spinny thing. Like, whenever he's jumping. Oh, there were tentacles. What, did they not, like, sprout until we got close enough to them or something? I was just always under the impression they just, you know, sprouted on their own. I didn't realize we had to be close for them to do it. All right, eat some ball berries. Oh, dude, that instantly took us up to level two? Hell yeah. I mean, ball berries do give, like, 70 experience points. They're pretty decent in that regard. Level three already? We are well on our way to fucking... Murdering some fools. Healing tonic. Very nice. Material and mulberry seeds. And I guess it's as good a time as any to check. Did we get to keep our alchemy and stuff? We did. Excellent. Okay. That's very cool. If I remember correctly, I wanted to go down next. You can see them on the map as tiny white dots. I'll have to keep that in mind, yeah. Like I said, I just, I didn't realize that they didn't sprout until you got close. So I didn't even think to, like, look for something like that, you know? Um, we're gonna run out of shine potion, aren't we? What was the recipe for that again? Hmm. They only come out when you are near them, though, yeah. That part I noticed. Uh, mulberry seed... text we need to see shine potion i'm assuming that's alchemy mix s cubs bane level zero and cubs bane so we should be able to make some more oh that was a super easy fight huh i know i saw more photons there we go Rosimile, very nice. Material, mulberry seeds, mulberries, and mulberry seed. Are we already full? <laughs> Holy hell. Okay, that's fine. Do we have any Cubs Bane? Did we pick any up? We did. Let's go ahead and make some more shine potion because we're definitely going to need that. And then pick up the mulberry seed. And I guess just eat some more mulberries. We'll go up to level four real quick. 
There we go. And now we're just going down. Oh, 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 wait. I think I heard a Cubs Bane. No, close the close that. I didn't want that. I want to jump. Yes, grab him. I need you to make potions, please. For some reason, you let me see in the dark. <laughs> Not just the regular dark, but the magical dark. And that is uh, very important, because without that, apparently, I won't be able to kill shit. And that would be a problem. Well, in some areas. Some areas, it's just fine. Like this one. Doesn't seem to matter here. Hello? Enemies? Are you... Are you spawning? There you are. Hello! Friendos! Uh, I'm assuming if I... Yeah, okay. I was gonna say, I'm assuming if, if I, like, try to suck up the Fozons around these guys, it'll take them out of their, uh, ghost mode, too. And it does, so... Excellent info. I'm really glad you gave us that tip, Valkyrie, because that's, uh... That's definitely come in handy. Uh, ghosty bro? Yas. Die, ghosty bro, die. I, I still don't appreciate your weird spider tentacle pony... Pony? Pokey bits. Oh, oh, I think I see them. Little tiny white dots. Yeah. Excellent. And more dudes. Holy shit. If you stay close to the chandeliers, they materialize too. So just anywhere like near the light. So like near light sources and then... I mean, it, it doesn't like literally emit light, I don't think. But I guess you could say like us doing that kind of creates a light or something. And spawns them in that way. In a sense... So not literally, but in a way. Oh, get fucked. Okay. I think we add more seeds somewhere. Might as well make more mulberries. Holy shit, they're giving us all kinds of level uh, zero material, huh? Alright, just, I guess just start downing some mulberries. We need the health anyways. We could use, like, one or two of them to, to level up our potions. But, like, I don't know. I don't feel we need them that bad right now. We are level one. Okay. What can we pick up? Mulberry seed, material zero. Uh, there's still two more mulberries here and another seed. Holy hell. My inventory's full again. Okay. Take the level zero, mix it with mulberry. Let's get a level up. On a potion, I mean. Oh, shit. There's still more stuff on the ground. Cubsbane and mulberry. Well, fuck it. E eat up. <laughs> Get all that experience for our health, I suppose. Level six, yep. And then, are we going down? Yes. You think it's because Fozons are the essence of life? The ghosts are already dead, so you probably would absorb them so they fight back. Oh, okay, okay. Because they want like what little essence of life there is for themselves sort of deal. Or we're sucking the last little bit of life out of them. Something along those lines. There they are. Oh, fucking tentacles. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not into tentacle play, guys. What'd you drop? Just a bone? That just what? Uh, let's us... You can, like, throw it at people to stun them temporarily. Lame. I don't think the bones are used for anything else. Not on their own. Ooh, rank S. 
That means we're going to get a lot of items that I can't do shit with. <laughs> I mean, we'll definitely take the gold, though. Mulberry seed, a napalm. We definitely want the napalm. Something like that, but it's just your interpretation. I mean, it's uh, the best one I've heard so far, so <laughs> we'll go with that. Okay, let's see here. Let's see, we got a level five. We can mix you with you to get a level 10. Did I mix that with a Mulberry or Cubs Bane? I meant to mix it with a Mulberry, but I'm not sure. Okay, yeah, I did keep the Cubs Bane, good. And then we'll take the level zero and mix it with some of these. Well, no, it's not worth mixing with the seeds right now because we can, uh, we can still get like levels off of even basic seeds like that. So instead, let's just take the level 10 one that we have, mix it with the Cubs Bane to make more Shine Potion in case we end up needing that, and then plant some seeds. Cubs Bane, Shine, Napalm, Mulberry Seed. Uh, plant all Lay Seeds. Yeah, sure, whatever, I don't care. I don't know if we have quite enough to grow all these, but it'll be fun. And plant the Rosimile over here. And that'll grow some more Mulberries, which we can eat for levels, and then just repeat forever. I really wish there was a uh, bank or something, somewhere to put items. Uh, also, I missed the ad. I'm very sorry to anyone that isn't subscribed i didn't realize that the ad was so close to running um i do apologize we normally try to run ads during downtime so that no one uh, misses any gameplay so i do apologize if that happened to anyone uh, after i'm done dicking around here we're going to take an ad break anyways well I won't run an ad since one literally just ran, but I am going to take a short break just so I have a chance to stand up and stretch and get a drink and do all that fun stuff. You know, all the stuff one needs to do to live. <laughs> Alright, are you going to grow the last one or you probably need a little bit more foes on to grow, I suppose, huh? Yeah, seems like it. We were close to growing all of them, though. We could probably force another Fozon by, like, making a potion or something, but nah, fuck that, dude. Ain't worth it. Not for a single mulberry seed. Let's head to the shop, I guess. Since the shop's right here, that's a good place to uh, take a break at. Because nothing bad can happen in the shop, right? Find the shopkeep. Hello, Mr. Mr. Shopkeep, sir. Yes, you will. Hush. <laughs> what do you got? Shield ring. Uh, max HP. Attack power by 5%. I mean, we'll go ahead and get it. Just because we don't have anything equipped right now, we might as well. Right? We're just going to end up replacing it with something else. But... Oh, it's 10. Shit, my bad. I thought it was 5 for some reason. You've been lurking with the sound off and all you see in chat is stuff about boobs. Yep, that's that's what we've been talking about. <laughs> uh, the, uh, the, the final boss of the first character uh, had some giant mommy milkers. And uh, so that like started the discussion. And then like even these dead characters like in the world of the dead here have boots on them and stuff like large boobs with completely unrealistic boob physics. You know, normal anime shit. And <laughs> so yeah, that's what that's what we've been talking about, you know? <laughs> but alright. I'm gonna take a quick break just so I can stand up and stretch around. And then uh, I'll be right back. It's only going to be like a, a minute, minute and a half break, though. Because we're not going to run an ad since one just ran uh, accidentally. But I still need to, you know, move around. <laughs> so be right back, guys. Tasks for the, for the achievements or anything. It was just, hey, 
play through the game normally and collect all the stuff. If you do that, here's a platinum for you. Freaking archers, dude. Archers are the worst. I've never noticed that before. If you try to grab one from down there, it just kind of... Like, it glitches a little bit. Like, you start to go up, and then... It realizes, like, that you can't actually grab them or something, and then made you go back down. That's weird. Oddly enough, Mr. Noodle... This is one of the only game franchises that she's ever really gotten into, too. Which isn't something I would have expected from her, because the other game franchises she likes are, like... Uh, Stardew Valley, right? Uh, Animal Crossing... Toki Toki Tori, like cutesy stuff like that with some puzzle elements or, or life sim elements, stuff like that. And then uh, for some reason, God of War, man. She just really got into God of War. I think it's great. A oh, Little Big Planet, another one of her game franchises that she really likes. Yeah, I always thought that was a little bit weird, but I'm, I'm here for it, man. The combat on ropes kind of sucks too. The hitboxes are jank as hell. I don't know if you guys can uh, see that there in the, the footage. I think you can. But, like, I was not even close to hitting those dudes. Yeah, for some reason, it just, uh, it just worked. <laughs> you can also usually just get an insta-kill on these guys by just grabbing them and then, yeah, tossing them down. Like, <laughs> hey, Mr. Noodle with the five cheer bit, just as we were talking about you. <laughs> Thank you so much, love. They get stuck on each other a lot, too. Look at that. Like, they're trying to get up here, but they can't. Terrible. But I am playing on hard mode, so I actually do need to be a little bit careful, because uh, it doesn't take very many hits to die. There you go. If you throw them down, then you can usually kill more of them by knocking them off there. All right. I'm back. Just a short break. Just wanted to stand up and uh, stretch my legs. Also, uh, OptiJack, if you can hear me, say hello. Uh, da -da -da -da, no boobs, only face. At Mr. Noodle. Uh, da -da, where'd my controller go? There it is. <laughs> Fuck, I'm blind sometimes. All right, let's get back into it, man. I want to try and beat this, uh, this part here. This, this chapter? This level? Whatever you want to call it. I, w I want to try to beat it before we have to end the stream tonight. Um, I've been in this area already, haven't I? So I don't, yeah, so I don't really need the light. I'm assuming if we don't have light, yeah, we can hang out by these guys. And they provide light. So if we, if we completely run out of shine potion, we're not fucked at least. We can, we can still do a little bit. It'll just be much harder. Which, fair, you know? I still don't understand why they have him, like, running around when they didn't do that with anyone else. Oh, this is a shop, too. Holy hell, okay. I didn't notice that on the map. I should have, but I'm an idiot, so... No, I don't want no poison. Uh, actually, I don't really want to sell anything, either. Do you have anything to buy that I care about? Nope. Okay, goodbye. Up we go. I didn't look to see what this one is, but I'm sure it's a fight of some sort. And it's also a well-lit area. Very nice. It means we don't have to use our shine potion for anything. Hello? Are there going to be enemies, though? There they are. Oh, sorry. I thought I thought I already brought you into the into the land of getting your ass kicked. Stand up and fight me, you bastards. <laughs> Not hit me with your weird tentacle things. Just fight me like a undead Spider-Man. <laughs> Wait, what is this? HP will gradually recover until you move? So he has a different uh, ability set. Very cool. Okay. I mean, I kind of figured they would have slightly different abilities, but I wasn't sure. So wait. HP recovers until you move? So that means we could just stand in one spot and completely recover? It's got to have, like, a limited 
amount of heal on it or something. It wouldn't it wouldn't just do forever, would it? Material level 10 right off the rip. And a couple mulberry seeds. Okay, do we have any mulberry to eat? We do. Down them for the experience, man. I can't wait until we can buy more bags. Like, okay, grab the seed, the seed, and lay potion, or base for lay potion. And I believe, yes, we are going this way, fighting a boss and getting whatever the hell that pendant is that we probably won't wear anyways because we already bought a equipable item because I forgot that there was a pendant <laughs> that we were going to be unlocking which most likely will have to be equipped. So, okay, we have two sets of shine potion. They're both full though, so it doesn't matter which one we take. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and throw some mulberry seeds in the ground while we're waiting for people to spawn in. I'm assuming the boss will drop enough for at least one. Oh, hi there. I'm glad they're not like, as hard as they were whenever uh, <laughs> I was fighting them with Gwendolyn. <laughs> that would have been a small problem, you know? Hi there, uh, Mr. Tentacle, sir. Oh man, I hope this, uh, I hope this boss drops enough for the Mulberry to grow. The Mulberry doesn't need much. It just needs like five. So I think it will. Ow. Dick. That was incredibly easy. Oh yeah, no, that's that's more than enough. Ghosts can only be defeated. What? Oh, I, they're on the ground again. Tentacle Bros. Mulberry seed me, yes please. And eat. Rank B, not bad, not bad. Could have done better, I'm sure, but we'll take it. Take what we can get. Our bags are full. Holy hell. Psycho in the house. What's up, man? Welcome back. Nice to see ya. Catching the tail end of the stream, sadly. We only got about a half hour left. But I'm happy to see you nonetheless. You're looking for guild? Uh, what you playing? That's the question. <laughs> or does that mean something else that I don't know? It very well may, because I am an idiot. <laughs> Alright, the, the poison charm. That could come in handy. Actually, the detox charm thing. Uh, I know there are a couple things that can poison us here, but and we haven't come across any poison yet, though. So I don't know. I'm sure it's fine. In the interest of making space, let's mix that with that. And then... Do we have enough to grab them all very soon? We don't. Can I please mix this material with something else. Oh, good. We got a mulberry seed in our backpack. Awesome. So we can mix that with the level 10. It's not a great mixture, but I just... I'm an idiot. <laughs> I mean, I don't think there's enough areas left right now for it to really matter that I just use an extra shine potion, but I did not mean to either. <laughs> I meant to do that. I meant to take the level 10 and make it a level 20. But, uh, yeah, like I said, I'm kind of an idiot, so... Alright, <laughs> on to the next area. Oh, fuck. Come on, game. Alright, pull up the map. And this way, actually. I feel like this dude m moves much faster whenever you go, uh, straight. And, or straight, whenever you, uh, fucking jump. So how did you quote unquote beat NFL Street 2? I didn't beat it. I just tried it out. Um, but yeah, we just we just played it for a couple hours. NFL games in general, like sports games in general, have never really been my thing. The street games are better than the other ones in my opinion. But yeah, if I were to to beat that one, 
as part of the gauntlet, I would probably play through the story mode until whatever the ending of it is. Uh, I've never played through the story, so I don't know how long it lasts or, or what the ending is like or whatever. But they do have like a, a what do they call it? Street mode, I think is what they call it. Right, where you're like taking your character and leveling them up to as you're playing through the different uh, or playing through different objectives and different areas and things. So yeah, if that one, if we ever, like if I ever do get to do this sort of thing full time and uh, so it prevents it, does it remove it? It doesn't. Um, is it level zero in Cubsbane? No. It must be level two in Cubsbane. Or is it something else entirely? I don't know. It's fine. It's just level one of poison. I'm sure it'll be okay. Anyways, uh, yeah, if I ever get to do this full time so that I can actually beat every PlayStation 2 game instead of just trying them, then, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll figure out how sports games are going to fit into that <laughs> at that time, I suppose. As of right now, I haven't put in that much thought into it. Aw, oh, that bastard. Teleport away right as I was using the Cyclone. He's so close. Just let me kill him, please. Thank you, Jesus. Ooh. Holy shit, dude. A lot of Fozons. So let's try that healing thing. Cypher heal. Let's just not move. Wait, did that also heal our poison? Or did that just heal, like, coincidentally? I wasn't paying much attention to the gauge there. Okay, so it looks like we can actually heal from zero to whatever health we want. But it would just take a really long time. <laughs> but if we're ever, like, out of health potions right before a boss fight or something, this is an option. We'll probably have to, like, do that and then take a break, especially towards the end of the game whenever you have, like, six, seven, eight hundred health. But again, at least it's an option for us, you know? Even if you don't know anything about football, it's still gratifying to watch Alabama lose. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm guessing Alabama is a team that a lot of people don't like. I mean, I, I know the very minimal amount about ba uh, football, and that is that is it, man, honestly. like I'm just not a uh, sports ball person in general, whatever kind, you know? As far as watching them, I like playing them IRL, and I think that's why I don't really like uh, playing the video games either, because... Uh, because I don't really care for watching them, you know? But, like, going out in a field and, and playing some football with some buddies, that's fun. I was in a, uh, I was in Little League Baseball growing up. That was fun. I was in the, the, a, uh, a church basketball league. I had a lot of fun with that, too, but, yeah. Um, okay, so if we take this level one, mix you with this mulberry seed. And then take you and you and mix you with the level 20. That'll give us a level 40. Hell yes. That'll clear up some space in our inventory at the very least. So we can carry more shit until we can afford to buy some backpacks. No indication. Uh, that's fine. We'll, we'll use some shine. Just down a bottle of shine and that'll let us see clearly. It's a little backwards from how it works in, uh, <laughs> in real life there, but you know. Why Alabama? Are they arrogant or bad? I'm assuming, uh, maybe both. <laughs> or they're probably just a hated team, honestly, if I had to guess, but... That I know next to nothing about uh, football, like teams or, or culture, so. So that's definitely gonna have to be a psycho question there, because yeah. Kinda sucks that we just got rid of all of our seeds now that so many uh, Fozons are, are showing up. 
Man, okay, so this, the whole, the lag situation has to just be a land of the dead thing. Because, like, I've got lag in other worlds, of course, but nothing nearly as bad as here, man. Just something about this area is making the lag much worse than the rest of the game. There we go. I think they're all dead. Thank goodness for that. You know even less about American football? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I imagine you would, yeah. If there's anybody in my chat that's ever known less about American football, it would probably be you. <laughs> and that is perfectly reasonable. <laughs> uh. Unlimited power. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Literal, like unlimited POW meter. I think we might have gotten one of those potions before. Very handy. I don't even know if I have enough inventory space to pick this up, but we're going to try. Hubs Bane? We do. Hell yeah. This boss? This is final boss. Cool. And we're within our time limit, which is even better. Wait, does this mean we're going to face off against Odine again? Like, fight her again? It's kind of weird that they would have two characters go back to back fighting the same boss, if that's the case. その uh, I don't want to die. How about that? <laughs> Surprise, it's Odette again. <laughs> I mean, Odin does it all the time, doesn't he? You just said those insolent dwarves or whatever you said. Come and steal your jewels. Is that a euphemism? <laughs> I'm assuming she's going to be much easier now than she was when we were fighting her with Gwendolyn, because, yeah. I think we're at, like, level zero right now, you know? Well, no, I guess that throughout the course of this level, we've, uh... This area, we've leveled up a fair bit, but still. Oh, yeah, no. She's taking much more damage. Okay, good. Seems to be balanced reasonably, then. Uh, is her butt gonna show up? I don't like her, her butt. <laughs> her, her butt is very rude. <laughs> it's very pokey. Uh, Cyclone, maybe? Just because we have the extra magic? I think she's healing. She is healing. Just smack the shit out of her, please. Didn't we get Napalm? I'm pretty sure we picked one up. Uh, da da da. I mean, the Unlimited Pow would probably be good, too, but Napalmer. Yes. Uh, okay, she's flame resist. I was gonna say, that didn't do as much as I was thinking it would. But it's not terrible. Uh, Cyclone again. Should get rid of some of the small fry. Come on, she's so close, man. Oh, okay, we're dizzy. That's not good. Yep, yep, yep. It's fine. Can we please get in there before she heals entirely? Oh, my lord, you suck. You suck, Odette. <laughs> Let me over your giant blades. Hold on. I need a I need a healing potion. There it was. I just saw it. Okay. Oh no, don't leave that there. 
if there's one potion I don't want to leave behind, it's going to be healing tonic. I mean, they are relatively easy to make, at least. I will say that, but, like, still, you know, they come in very handy. And by the way, Valkyrie's Grace, yeah, like, the whole rest of the game doesn't lag nearly this bad, man. Like, you, you're seeing it at its worst. Like, <laughs> like, the rest of the game does lag sometimes, but nothing like this. Like, <laughs> it's terrible. Only in this world. The other ones are bearable, at least, not like a slideshow. You think you fight Odette on three different occasions? Oh, so is that how we come to, like, serve them? Is our place in the netherworld are, while alive, are sinners facing my judgment? Huh. Still doesn't explain what we're doing here, though. だが私は罪を犯してきたのではない。気がついたらここにいたのだ。メイクの情報。私は行く。これが何かの間違いだと証明してみせよ。お前の愛称な障害など一時の夢。ああ。死がそれを覚まさせてくれるだろう。お前が
I mean, five items isn't bad, but yeah, I think we're I think we're gonna wait. Hopefully, we unlock the larger bags a little bit sooner with this character than we did with uh, Gwendolyn. Go talk to the king. I imagine he'll have some very nice things to say. Nebulopolis? Sure. <laughs> Is that the, the demon lord's domain? Neb Nebulopolis? Yeah, that, that word? I don't think I ever noticed it before, the name of it, whenever we were playing through Gwendolyn's story. Larger bags are always later in the story. That's rough. I might end up buying the smaller ones then, but... I'm not a sinner, I don't think. I mean, I could be, but... <laughs> I don't actually know. All I know is I woke up in the netherworld. Oh. So is that who we saw? The previous king of Titania? The one that uh, the, the current king was talking about being a sinner and then falling in love with a commoner and being banished and all that stuff? Nepuopolis is the capital and Ragnanval is the country. <laughs> God, that's so rough. Uh, words are hard. Thanks, Gwenny. Pretty useless without it. Well, yeah, what else would I do? At least I'm like sure of myself, man. Confidence, that's the key, right? Because <laughs> he's an ass? Yeah. I mean, I pretty, think we established that pretty well in uh, Gwendolyn's story. Alright, we probably have to do this first fight before we can save. Assuming the, the game loads sometime this century. Maybe. <laughs> we'll see. There it goes. Thank goodness. Prove your identity with Valor. Alright, where's the where's the fight at? There they are. Also, what are we gonna get? Carrots? Carrots are good for health potions and stuff. Hell yeah. Take me some carrots. Oh, not the dwarves. I forgot about the dwarves and their evil bombs. Hopefully that was all of the bombs already. <laughs> oh, okay. Almost got smacked by one. <laughs> I fucking hate the dwarves and their bombs. I like the dwarves. I like the design of them and whatnot. They're neat. But like, <laughs> the, uh, the, the bombs they throw are terrible. Yeah, the loading times, I feel like it's whenever we first load into a new area, like, uh, because, like, the first load in the netherworld took a long-ass time, and then after that, it seemed to go by a little bit faster. So, I, I, I think, like, if we were to go to the next area, it would be a little bit better there, but, uh, at least the lag shouldn't be as bad. Just judging off of my playthrough of Gwendolyn, the lag was at its worst in the Netherworld by a lot. So hopefully that'll be okay. I can deal with like a, a slightly longer load time, 
But if I had to deal with the whole rest of the game in that lag, I don't think I could do it, man. <laughs> to be honest, that was just, that was rough. That was way too much. Anyways, guys. Oh, I've been sitting here for like four hours now. Well, I got started a tiny bit late today. So like nearly four hours, three hours and 40 minutes. <sighs> I think it's time for me to get up and stretch and, and do my thing off of stream. But I do appreciate everybody coming out and hanging out with me tonight. Uh, tomorrow night, Sunday, like I said, my uh, co-host, Jonathan, for the podcast, uh, has just had a baby. So he's taking a bit of a break, spending time with his family and stuff like that. Um, so I don't think there will be any podcast tomorrow night. There may be a surprise stream. I don't have anything planned. But if I don't have like anything else going on, then I might just stream something for the hell of it tomorrow night. Other than that, we will be back Tuesday with uh, the regular PS2 Gauntlet shit. Have no idea what game we're playing yet, but we'll be playing a something. Thank you for the stream. It's getting late over here. Thank you for joining. Honestly, thank you all for joining. Uh, Vru, thank you for the gifted sub. I really appreciated that, man. And everyone else, just thank you for hanging out, dude. That's that's all I ask of y'all. Is Just uh, come hang out for a little bit whenever you can. Whenever you have the time, you know? I appreciate it. But yeah, thank you guys one last time. And uh, have a good night. Bye-bye. See you Tuesday, maybe. <laughs> Didn't mean to dodge roll like that. And then you want to go this way.